Okay. Let's see. First of all, I'll turn on that audio. And where's the game? Our video game, where are you? Here we are. Make sure everything's peachy king. I gotta move all this all these windows around and shit. There we go. There we go. Oops. How loud is this? Ugh, that sound effect was loud as shit. Alright. Hopefully the audio is doing fine. Uh, looks like the music's on a little bit of the quieter side. Let me boost that up a little bit. There we go. Alright. Head to options. Because I don't think I turned this down. There we go. Okay. So we are back. Hi, welcome everyone. How are you doing? How was your night? How's been how's life been going, you know? We are back with more Corpse Party. Gotta move this mouse out the way. It's gonna start moving on its own. We are back with more Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Where we last left off. Ooh. That is loud. <laughs> that is louder than I remember. Lower that down a little bit. Once that music kicks in, it starts blasting my fucking eardrums. It starts off very low, and then it decides to kill me. Alright. When we last played, um... Book of Shadows, we did the Purgatory chapter, which focused on... Naho and her friend... Right? Naho, her friend, and, um, her mentor. And how apparently she was already cursed by, um, by Sachiko. Before they even went to the goddamn, before they even went to the damn, um, school. Heavenly Host Elementary, right? That's what it's called? Heavenly Host Elementary? Yeah. So... There wasn't, it was a shorter, a shorter chapter than usual. There wasn't too much uh, going on in it. Just kind of like a very sad story. <laughs> very sad and depressing. Sadly, it didn't give us enough room for character development for, uh, for, um, either of the characters, really. Besides the fact that Naho is, like, pretty, uh, Pretty light ditzy from time to time. But. Now that that's out the way. We are now moving on to. Shangri-La. Which. I'm going to take a guess and say this focuses on the dude with the glasses. I can't remember his name. He's just a creepy fucker. <laughs> Who just. Died off screen I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really checked the extras out. In um in the original Quartz party yet. So maybe he's in one of the extras where you get to see like his downfall, but in the main game the characters just kinda go like, eh fuck it, he's uh he's dead. He's not coming back. He he lost his mind after like finding his phone or some shit. <laughs> of like dead bodies. Cause he was taking pictures of Mayu's dead body and then I guess he lost it. So let us start with Shangri La. I'm a little bit out of breath for some reason. I don't know why. All right, <clears throat> Morshigi, that's his name. That's his name. Thank you, video game. All right. <clears throat> I deserve punishment for my actions. Each time I took a photograph with my phone, it flash, uh, its flash made the school walls shine a bright heavenly white. This was a place of solitude. Only she and I, no other soul to be found. I just can't stay away. Oh, really? He's playing this classical music and shit? Hold up, what's the hide button? 
That's not the hide button. What's the hide button? Is it this button? No. Is it H? No. Is it shift? I don't want to skip anything. Is it alt? Nope. Alt is like a pause. Wow. Is it caps? Nope. That's to progress. And my breathing had become uncomfortably heavy. Let me see. What was is it enter? I highly doubt it would be enter. I was getting steadily more excited. It's not enter. Is it just backspace? It can't be backspace. It is backspace. Oh my god! <laughs> that is not that is not pleasant. That is wow. Okay. And it was all and it was all because of her. A perfect flower. Brightly adoring the wall with its Mirad colors. Uh, Mirad? Mirad? Mm. Mirad colors. Such was the desperate female form spread before me. When I first encountered her, it took me several moments just to comprehend what I was seeing. I never beheld a person with such gravest injuries before. I'm not even certain the word, the word injury would apply in this situation. What state of mind could... Oh god. <laughs> I'm like out of breath for some reason. I don't know why. <sighs> what state of mind could could uh could cause someone to do this to another human being? I was certain this action had been wrought by human hands, largely because both of her arms had been nailed to the wall with construction grade li lin linchpins, linchpins, linchpins. Based solely on the drug on the dugout adam abdomen, <laughs> seemingly without. <laughs> Seemingly, without the use of tools, the intestines lying on the floor, the smashed eyeballs, and the exposed jaw. Smashed eyeballs? Oh god. One might think she's been torn apart by wild animals, but the linchpins and the faint traces of blood handprints here, uh, there, here and there prove otherwise. And yet, this bold, finely crafted display of her body shows a clear will and a fury pass- Fury. What the hell is wrong with me tonight? A fiery passion on the part of the orchestrator. The blood that splattered far and wide shone in the flash like a bright red flame, and whole chunks of flesh were strewn about like flower petals. This flayed and eviscerated corpse, with arms outstretched and nailed to the wall, brought to mind images of Jesus nailed to the cross. You're sick. <laughs> You're fucking sick, man. But I can see why you might think that. But she was even purer than that. <laughs> I can't see why you might think that. <laughs> there was no self-sacrifice here, no lesson to be taught. Whoever did this clearly had fun with it. They enjoyed killing her. They enjoyed destroying her. I suppose there are animals who kill not for food, but for sport, leaving the carass, carass? A carcass, my bad, carass. The carcass of their prey behind. Of course, even intelligent animals like the lion, monkey, and dolphin can be subject to occasional exclusionism and abuse within their rings. Yet only humans possess the capabil uh, capability, well, the capacity to turn their violent impulses into art. Can that truly be all there is to it, though? My eternal monologue had become soliloquy, if only for a moment. What was it about this girl that fascinated me so? Witnessing the aftermath of a murder's of a murderer's actions did provide a certain feeling, a certain freeing sense of childlike helplessness, to be sure. But why had she, in particular, struck in my fancy? Oh no! Wait a minute! Oh no! Is this Mayu again? Oh, is Sachiko fucking around with more Shigi? Okay. That's the only thing I can think about right now. Cause she she had her intestines ripped out by the children. This whole school is like a veritable veritable? A veritable quartz party. Ah, uh, there you go. There's the title of the game. I've seen so many other bodies since I've arrived here, but none like hers. The moment I first laid eyes on her will still will stay with me always. Not just the sight, but the smell too. Hanging in the air like stream. Like stream? Like steam after a hot bath. She was young. Junior or senior high age. But that's about all I could determine. Her uniform was tattered and soaked through with blood. And there was no student ID tag to be found. The only reason I believe her to be... Uh, to be her... Uh, wow. 
The only reason I believed her to be a she, in fact, was due to the position, uh, the position, the presence of a makeup bag and ornate, uh, tor tortoiseshell jewelry box on the ground nearby. Or the fact that she's, like, wearing a bra and has boobies. I don't have the slightest clue who she may be, so why am I so drawn to her? Please tell me, who are you? The alarm on my cell phone sounded as if an answer. Oh dear, is it already this late? A production of the Barber of, S of Seville was airing on the eight, on the fucking M8. <laughs> I love how I, I got confused and I started cursing. <laughs> was airing on the MHK Educational Network MHK hmm. Educational Network that evening and Mayu had asked me to record it for her being away from my TV at this time I set a few reminder reminder alarms on my phone to sound at regular intervals beforehand Mayu was almost renowned for her love of sweets and accessories and such and I often wonder if anyone else knew how much she enjoyed the works of Ro Rosini? Rosini? Rossini? I need to find Mayu. She's lost without me. Ah, bright and beautiful Mayu. Beloved by all who knew her. I was the only one aware of the weakness that laid within her heart. Therefore, I was the only one who could truly protect her. Speaking of weakness, I wonder what's become of Mochita's little sister. I certainly enjoyed chasing her around earlier. <laughs> I gave her quite a fright. I adore watching her run for dear life. It was an act befitting a psychopathic pedophile, yet I'm no such thing. Why then did I glean such joy from it? You're an asshole, Morishigi. <laughs> You're a real asshole. I simply found her frail, coward, cowarding, uh, cowarding counter stance to be irresistibly precious. The sight of an overwhelming weak person standing before me, utterly helpless and alone, elated my very soul. The sensation was nearly orgasmic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ew, no. Yes, this was a French sister. For all the torment I caused, I certainly intended no harm. Except for, you know, emotional and mental harm. Definitely intended all that by chasing her around. The perceived threat I, res I represented just spawned such panic and horror within her that I couldn't help myself. Thinking back upon it still makes me smile. I swear, it feels like there's another me slowly and steadily awakening within. No, this isn't right. This isn't who I am. Would it be that this nightmarish location is messing with my head? Indeed, this wouldn't do at all. If I were to return to the real world with Mayu and the others without first discarding this new me, I would no longer be able to live the way I did before. <laughs> I suppose I'll need to erase all the pictures and movies I've stored in my phone. <sighs> Including hers. Yep, I knew it was going to be more Shigi. Because, I mean, who else would view this place as Shangri-La? The Golden City. El Dorado. Wherever the fuck. Emi to uh, Emi Toko. Toko? Yeah, Toko. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, pl I'm not playing as him. <laughs> Emmy, Toko, anybody at all? Is anybody there? Crap, my phone. Is it okay? Damn it, the strap's broken. Nobody's here either. Where did everybody go? Hard to believe we were just just in the student council room. I guess that Sachiko charm isn't what did us in, huh? I'm trying to remember who's Mitsuki. Is Mitsuki a? Uh... Mitsuki. Hmm. This wasn't just some ordinary school building. Some fellow student council members and classmates and and I all wait what? Some fellow student uh, council member uh can't speak. Some fellow student council members and classmates and I all did this weird ritual, and then I passed out. I thought maybe it was a I thought maybe it was a ninja or something. But when I woke up, I found myself in this thoroughly, thoroughly disturbing place. And my friends were nowhere to be found. At first, I thought maybe this was just Toko playing a prank on me, but I quickly realized that this went far beyond that. I got angry. I screamed. I cowered in fear and begged anyone who could hear me to stop doing this. But ultimately, I was just talking to the air. To the air. 
This all felt like a bad dream, and I prayed in my heart of hearts that that's all it was, because I knew I wouldn't be able to stand being in such a horrible place all alone. I just wanted to see anyone, to be with someone. I just wanted someone to call my name. I'm Mitsuki Yamamoto, an 11th grader at Byakudan Senior High School. I served as clerk for the student council. Is this the guy who gets stabbed up later? I'm right here, everyone. Right here. Let me see. Is it? Is this not the button for the map? I don't think I can use the map at this point. Okay. Alright. Let's see. I really, I have to say, I'm really not a fan of how the audio is kind of balanced in this game. Because if I put the music any higher, then when it starts to like ramp up, it's going to like blow out the audio. The sound effects are fine though. This is definitely something to be played with headphones though. A decaying human head has been forcibly crammed into the top left cubby. Oh shit, that's bad. It must have been easy to make it fit. Are there are there any? Oh, wow, as there are tiny pieces of flesh and scrap and scalp that 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 and scalp tissue all along the frame. <laughs> Who would have done something like this? You know, when I saw my first body here, I couldn't stop throwing up, but I think I'm starting to get desensitized. I just hope the others are okay. Okay, so what am I looking for here? If they're not gonna let me leave this room. The door is frozen in place as if it was a decoration on the wall. It doesn't even rattle when pushed. Damn it! The windows were the same. What the hell is going on in here? I'm not going to accomplish anything by staying in one place. I need to keep looking for my friends. Hmm. Am I choosing? Oh no, it's just telling me I'm going there. Okay. Mitsuki! Uh, who's there? It's me, Kurosaki. Kurosaki, what are you? We were in the same hallway, but separated by a huge hole in the floor. Still, I find some. I finally found someone. Kintsuki Kurosaki, a classmate of mine from 2-4. After being alone in here all this time, finally a friend. I could barely contain my exuberance. Uh, Kurosaki, I'm so glad you're alright. Oh, okay. Kurosaki's the one who gets stabbed later. I guess I'm Mitsuki, the guy who stabs him. I could have sworn he had a different name. You too. How are you holding up? You're not hurt or anything, right? No, I'm just fine. How about you, Kurosaki? Where are the others? I wish I knew. I only just woke up, and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on in here. No kidding. We were all in the student council room, right? So how come we're in this rundown school now? Did someone carry us here while we were unconscious? That's the only explanation I can think of, but I can't imagine anyone actually doing that. Yeah, they have to be pretty sick, but then, well, have you seen what's in here with us? The dead bodies? Yeah, first time in my life I've ever seen the real deal. I was about ready to piss my pants when I realized what, what, what I was looking at. Ew, come on. I'm serious, this place is so not safe. We need to find, uh, Kazami. Kazami Fukuri- Fuku Fukurio? Fukurio? That's not how you say that name. Fukuro- Fukuri? 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 Uh. I don't know, the O-I throws me off. Let's just go with Fuku. <laughs> and the others can get the hell out of here. Kurosaki carefully inched closer to the hole in the corridor, bit by bit, then took a good long look inside. You could leap right over that, I bet. I mean, you're in the baseball club, and you're good at sports, so something like this shouldn't be a problem. There's no way. I have to be a track star to clear that. Well, you'll never be one with that kind of attitude. Man, you don't mince words, do you? Wouldn't expect anything less of you anyways. I'm gonna go- I'm going to go try and find some other way around. W wait You still there, Mitsuki? In case anyone else shows up while I'm gone. You don't need to be in such a hurry. We don't, uh, why don't we stay here for a little while? 
Don't leave me alone. I guess I can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. In class and in student council meetings alike, I'm always trying to take charge. I suppose I have to be all docile and sweet like Emmy if I want to be treated like a lady. Out of range. Damn. Right when I need it the most, too. The time displayed on my phone reads 2909. Well, that's certainly not right. Maybe it's got messed up when I dropped it. The fuck is all this noise going on? Krasaki's taking an awfully long time. I sure hope nothing happened to him. Hey, anybody there? Krasaki? I'm here. Over here, Kurosaki. Mitsuki, is that you? Fuku? Fuku- Fukuroi? 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 Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. I'll go with Fukuroi. That sounds- That sounds like how you pronounce it, right? If the eyes making the Y sound. Or Fukuri? Fuku- Fukuroi? I can't. I can't do it. Let's just go with Fukuroi. Thank goodness. I was looking all over for you, Mitsuki. It was Masato Fukurai. Why can't we just call him Misato? A classmate of mine and student council president. Oh, he looks like the student council president. Look at this guy. He always had a scowl on his face and dug his heels into the ground on everything. But right now, his cold ab abstinence was uh, as welcome as it could be. Fukurai, I'm so glad you're here. Wait, wasn't exactly the same thing I said to Kurosaki? I really need to get some new material. I'm sorry. You called me right as I was starting to panic. I mean, we're in this horrible place, and Kurosaki wanted off. Slow down. This isn't like you, Mitsuki. Are you saying Kins- Uh, Kin- Ah, oh God. Kinsuki? Kinsuki? Kinsuki. Kinsuke? I don't know how to pronounce these names. <laughs> Kinsuke. Kinsuki? Kin I don't know. Fuck! Are you saying that Ken isn't here too? Uh, is here too? Yeah. He was on the other side of the pit. And since he couldn't figure out how to cross it, he just ran off to find an alternate way around. I see. Jumping the gun as always, then. Have you found anyone else, Fukurai? What about Toko? I'm afraid not. No, no, Oka no, Okawa <sighs> no Okawa or Katayami either. And no Kazumi. Hmm. Well, Kazumi's probably fine by himself. Hmm, you might be right. He's strong in body and strong in will. I doubt even a place like this could bring him down. Hmm. So Mitsuki's... So is Kazumi the guy who does the stabbing later? So many names. So many names learned in so short amount of time. I can't keep track with all of these. At any rate, once we reunite with Kurosaki, we should be finding the others our first part. We should make finding the others our first priority. Maybe we should try to find an alternate route around this pit ourselves then. Is that really such a good idea, though? What if Kurosaki gets, gets here after we've already left? Then he'll wait for us, and if we set about finding our own route, there's a good chance we'll run into him along the way. And we might happen upon the others, too. You're right. We can't just stand around or we'll never get anywhere. And I have to admit, I am worried about Toko and the others. Me too. We have to confirm, we have to confirm the safety of everyone from Byakudan as soon as possible. I'm having like a hiccup now. What the hell? The door to the art room is locked up tonight. Cool. Alright. So now we get to investigations. Oh, I'm playing as... Hmm. I'm playing as a girl. Mitsuki's a girl. Is she... Wait a minute. Is Mitsuki the one... Is like the one girl we've run into that like runs away in terror in the first game? Or is that someone else? Hmm. Can't really tell. It's been a while. Alright. We have the music room. The boys room. Hmm. Main building, but that's locked off. Another set of stairs that leads to the first floor. And the staff room. I mean, if we're gonna... If we're gonna look for him, uh, we need to go down, so I think it would be best to just head to the stairs. Hmm. 
Okay. Girls' room. Hallway. This is where we were locked off from. Ref room. Huh. So this would be the other side of the of the floor. Art room was locked off. Well, let's try the ref room then, since it's down here. The door and window alike are frozen in place as if there's just decorations on the wall. There's a bucket. It looks like to be a bucket, probably used by the custodian for mopping the floors. There's nothing inside. Okay. So ref room's locked off. What about girls' bathroom? Oh! And she's covered in protective charms and it seems to be shut tight. Okay. That's interesting. It's covered in seals and shit. Uh, exit. There's an exit, but the main building is blocked off, right? Let's check that out. Hmm. This is where I started off at. Okay. So this is second wing, first floor. All right. Wait a minute, so, wait, hold up. So he was on, wait, we're on the first floor now, right? And he was below us, so he should be, he should be somewhere, like, in this hallway, wouldn't he? My dog is, like, moving around in his cage right now. You okay over there, buddy? You doing good? You're fine? Alright, just making sure, checking on you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That dead body scared me. I saw it from the corner of my eye. Door is locked up. Oh, it's a good ghost. Hi, good ghost. Is that a ghost? A g g g g ghost? Like, for real? Crap, this isn't good. My legs are shaking. You're still alive, aren't you? If you don't, wanna, if you don't want that to change anytime soon, then take my advice. Trust no one. Not a single person. But what about my friend that's with me right now? Hmm. Let's check the music room, then. It's the only place we haven't looked at. Well, we didn't look at the boys' room yet, but... I mean, what's the significance there? The first thing I noticed when entering the room was a stack of candles and a box of matches right in front of my eyes. Had someone left these behind? These look fine. As long as they're not too damp, they should still be perfectly usable. Come on, Flame. Fucking flame on. I struck one of the matches long, along the side of the box, and a small red flame flickered into being. Nice. I propped up one of the loose candles and placed the burning match ahead, uh, head against the wick. It may not be much, but hopefully if someone comes into this room and sees this candle, they'll know that, others are living, that there are other living beings in here with them. Wouldn't that be creepy? <laughs> You walk in there and you see fucking a candle just burning brightly. You're like, oh no, I'm not going in that room. I decided it would, it would be best to take the remaining candles and the box of matches with us, just in case we need them. So I can fucking light that shit and say, be gone, spirit. You okay over there? Don't look at me like that. You're the one making noise. My dog started like coughing. Hey, <laughs> that's a bad word. Hey, man, a lot of bad words will come out <laughs> if we're messing with ghosts. Fukuroi, look, there's something in there. Something small was f was firmly jammed between the two of the keys on the piano. It seemed to be... Now my other dog is, like, whining at me. Are you okay? <laughs> Am I nice? Depends on what you need, what you mean by that. Am I a nice person, or am I nice at the game? Can't say I'm nice at the game, because I never played it before. 
it seems to have been wedged in with the tremors uh with tremors wow can't read with tremendous force making it impossible to move either of the surrounding keys yeah there's definitely something here but i don't think we'll be able to get it anytime soon we need something we could fit in the tiny spaces between the keys in order to pop it out i don't know get like a coat hanger or something oh what the hell is this A memo pad, presumably belonging to the deceased girl, is lying on the ground near her body. Oh! I'm getting raided. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Is my... Is my alarm going off? Oh no! What's going on over here? <laughs> Thanks for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. I, I'm supposed to have, like, an alert for that, but I don't think it went off. <laughs> Heard noise, but I didn't think it was the game or not. Yeah. It's supposed to be, like, a, a raid alarm for, uh... <laughs> it's supposed to be, like, um, Naoto from Persona 4 dancing. Alright, let's see. It looks like she was using it to chronicle her experience here in the school building. The letters are written in pink ink and are easily legible. Naoto... <laughs> Yeah, it's um it's her character, her lobby character from um from Cross Tag. She has like an emo in it where she does like a little monkey dance. I did the Sachiko ritual with Nozomi and the others. And then all of a sudden I was out like a light. When I came to I was here surrounding by surrounded by corpses. I can't even say how many times I vomited. I wanna go home. I would wanna go home too. We three have to stick together. If we don't, I think we're as good as dead. Like the high school students we met yesterday. There's nothing left to eat here. I think we've been here a week now, but it's hard to say for sure. I really want to take a bath and brush my teeth too. The three of us talk it over and decided to eat the dead body. Oh fuck, are you serious? I don't know. Desperate times, I guess. It was tough and bloody and felt it and and felt and tasted so wrong. Raina sold, shouldered uh, that, 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 that can't speak. Raina sh sh uh, soldiered through, but Nozomi threw it up. He came again. Nozomi was injured. Now she'll just get in our way. Raina was crying, but I'm just hungry. Nozomi's not coming. I think she's been killed already. Oh well. If Raina comes, I know what I have to do. Oh, wow, that was, that was not, that was not nice. That was terrible. <laughs> Sad. There's a memo here. The seal must be undone. The tragedy must not be allowed to spread any further. Oh, no, that's bad. Well, anything else in here? Cabinet? There's a row of, uh, there's a row of award, awards and pla and plaques, and plaques on one of the shelves here. Among them sits a small rectangular box. What could this be? I'm not sure if I want to touch that box, but I'm gonna touch it. The cabinet glass door is locked. Oh, well, I can't take it. <laughs> that's too bad. That's sad. I think that's everything I can do in here, right? I guess I can check this again, make sure there's, like, no key with it or something. A metal pad pre uh, presumably belonged to the deceased girl laying on the ground. Okay. It's just gonna repeat it? Yeah, it's just gonna repeat it. That's cool. Just got, you know, got to check. Make sure everything's in the clear. There we go. All right. I think that's everything we can do in this room for now, so let's check out the boys' room. The boys' room entrance is completely boarded up. There's no way to get inside right now. But there's a ghost. There's a good ghost. It's Casper. He's friendly. Do you know what lies beneath the school? It's a mirror of agony and torment. And it's a mirror of agony and torment that can drive a man to madness with a single touch. Ooh. 
Is that all you gotta say for me, ghost? No, no helpful hint, like, like, be beware the walls have eyes or some shit? <laughs> huh. I mean, I guess I can... Did I go down this way? Hmm. Okay. Oh, this leads back to, uh, maybe the art room is open now. Did I not select it? Hold up. There we go. Let's check it. The door's locked. Yep. All right, just making sure. You know, maybe a ghost came by and said, this door's not supposed to be locked. This is supposed to be the murder room. Supposed to be open to anyone who wishes to be murdered and dealt with. Alright, so. There's no exit over there, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the ref room opened up this time around. Or maybe there's something in the bucket now. Or I can use the candles to maybe, like, burn some of the, the tags off the girls' room. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new here. Nothing inside. And this is locked. Frozen in place. Gotcha. Alright, well, let's try... Let's try busting open the girls' room. I have matches. I should be able to burn this shit. The atmosphere feels heavy here than it does everywhere else. And the door is covered in protective charms. It seems to be shut up tight. It's not every it's not even locked. It just won't open. Shinto seals. I don't think I don't like the look of that. It's no more disconcerting than anything else in this godforsaken building, really. Well, it's not like we can get in there and investigate anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? You got candles. You got matches. Burn that shit. I mean, if this was me, I wouldn't be burning no, no seals that's locking up evil, right? Huh. Is there no way to, like, go into my inventory... Choose the match and use it? Nope. Okay. Well, what does this say? Looks like something's written here, but the letters are so faint, it's illegible. That's not good. That could tell me how to beat the secret boss. How to get to level 99. Alright, well... Hmm. Guess I'll head back downstairs, then. Was the boys' room locked? The boys' room was locked. This is where I started out. So maybe there's something I can use the candles on here. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see anything. There's numerous indoors, blah blah. I mean... Maybe I can light up this area, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's see. Based on what's left, facial fissures and it's cut. It's likely a male student. Look, there's something in there. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, we got to check it out. I can definitely see something in this in its mouth, but I don't think I can, you know. Allow me... Ugh. Definitely not a fan of maggots crawling all over me. Oh, no, man. Fukuri dug, a, uh, dug around inside the mouth of a severed head for a few moments and then finally withdrew his hand. He was gripping something tightly between his now foul-smelling, discolored, and dully glistening fingers. Here, I got tissues. Ah, thank you. It seems to be a key of some sort. 
After thoroughly wiping off all the maggots and bits of rotten flesh, the Aino Fukuri pro uh, produced from the head took on the classic look of an old copper key. Okay. Let's save that progress. Make sure I don't miss... Am I pressing the wrong button? Yes, I am. Make sure I don't... Have to do that over again. Alright. So now we have a key. Maybe... Music room doesn't need a key. Oh wait, no. Music room does need a key. The closet has like a box in it. Oh, hey, Breezy, how's it going? It's glad to see you again. It's glad to see you again. Is that English? I meant to say, I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> There's a row of awards and plaques on it. Blah, blah, blah. What could this be? Take that box. The cabinet glass is locked. Okay, but I have a key. Use the key. Can I not use the key on that? Hmm. Guess it's the wrong key. Got it. I'm doing fine. I'm doing better than I did uh, last stream where, like, I got interrupted in the beginning and then my internet cut out in the middle of it. For unknown reasons. Because the planet aligns whenever I, whenever I press the record button. And the world comes crashing down above me. Alright, let's try this door. It's locked tight. I wonder if the key we found will work here. Nope, wrong door. Damn, that sucks. But overall, I'm doing fine. I'm doing okay. I'm not sure how my dog is doing, though, because every time I stream, they slowly crawl up to me like they're trying to warn me of something. They, like, do that little commando crawl. Are you okay? You're whining. My dog is both whining and wagging her tail. I think she just wants me to hold her. Because any other time, I'm like, oh, you have to use the bathroom, even though I let you out like an hour ago or something. And then I'll let them use the bathroom, and then she'll just sit there and whine again. It's frozen in place. Can I not use the key on this door at all? Okay, well then... I can try the art room. I don't think I can use the key on the girls' room door because, uh, that's covered in seals. That's some ooky spooky magic shit. Okay. The boys' room. I don't think I need a key for that. You know what I really find weird about this game is that it has like the loudest music ever but half of the time it doesn't want to play the music. It plays like ambient noises. So I can't change the volume on that because if I do then it will then when the music actually starts it would blow out everyone's eardrums. It's very weird. It's like if you ever played Catherine, for some reason the sound effects are like 10 times louder than the voice dialogue and the music. The door's locked. I wonder if I can use the key. Go ahead. Alright, it's a match. Don't mind if I do. The door's unlocked. I shall walk in. Oh, my bad. I gotta do it manually. Alright. See what kind of spooky shit we got going on in here. There's a blank canvas. There's a box up there. It's a faint and almost invisible. Uh, it's faint and almost invisible from a distance, but there appears to be a painting of a white rose on this canvas, or maybe it's just a water stain. What's this? There's quite a lot of objects on these shelves and this drawer, but every one of them is fixed in place, as if they're all just decorative accents. Okay, so nothing important there. Hmm. Anything in the cabinet? There's a plaster model of a human arm on one of the shelves. Maybe it was used for sketching. The fingers are all stained red, as if covered in blood. The hell is this? 
That doesn't look like pink, does it? Okay. Is that it? Come on, there's gotta be something else in here. It's a portrait of a girl with long black hair, but her face has been completely blanched out with red paint. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, I can't just be in here for nothing. Can I really not grab that box? Huh. Anything else? There's gotta be something, like, specific. No. Because I remember that one room I went into had, like, a wooden board on the floor, which was, like, really hard to see. And we spent, like, an hour looking for that. <laughs> the hell is this? What's going on? Why is it so cold? I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here. All right. Do as he say. Get me the, the hell out of here. <laughs> He's like, we should leave. That's not good. I was hoping if I leave, I would, like, trigger something. Hmm. There's the music room. I tried the staff room out, right? No, I, I couldn't even try the staff room out. Let me head back into the art room. Maybe there's, like, a, uh, a paintbrush I can grab or something. Because there's something lodged in the, uh, in the piano. In the music room. Is there not, like, a small paintbrush somewhere sitting aside? What about this on this canvas? Let's see. Is it still life depict uh, depicting hy hydrangeas? Oh, it's a still life depicting hydrangeas. Oh, there we go. There's a palette knife. This seems like something you might be able to use. I will take that. You never know when something like this might come in handy. All right. Guess we can use that to pick uh pick our way through the piano. Everything's coming all together. And a nice neat little little package with a bow on top. Okay. Now I feel like the moment I start Picking at this like a ghost is gonna start trying to mess with me. He's gonna be like, "Hey, buddy, you digging through my piano? What's going on there? You, uh, you find something? Find something cool in there? Is that like a rare Pokemon card? Can I have that? You know, I tried to get one from McDonald's meal, but they they uh kind of ran out. Fuku uh Fukuroi, look, there's something in there. All right, there's definitely something there, but I don't think we can get it. What do you mean you don't think we can get it? Hey, what about the palette knife we found in the art room? Damn right, try it. Fukuroi took the palette knife in his hand and started digging between the keys of the, paint, of the piano with it and attempted to dislodge whatever was stuck. It took a lot more effort than expected and created an unpleasant scraping sound that kind of hurt my ears, but ultimately... Alright, I got it. Another key. So I just want to use the open art room too. <laughs> hmm, it's a small key. Well, it has to be used for this then. It's locked. Let's try using the key we found on the piano. The key turned without any resistance and heavily, and the heavily glass door opened it right up. I removed the rectangular box from inside and marvel at the, at the feel of the wood. It was made from Polonia. It was made from Polonia. Okay. Making it smooth and lightweight. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Doesn't seem dangerous or anything until you open it and like a face hugger pops out. Hope you didn't just jinx us. I wouldn't worry. Even if there was a bomb in there, I'm sure you'd be able to handle it just fine. <laughs> is that supposed to be... Uh, wait, what? Isn't that supposed to be the girl's line? Oh, don't be so misogynist. I couldn't believe I just laughed. I guess Fukuroi over overtly serious deadpan reactions had become a source of strength for me. I can't even describe how grateful I was... Uh, wow. I lost my... my focus. <laughs> like it's Final Fantasy XIII. I can't even describe how grateful I was just, I was just to him, uh, can't describe how grateful I was just to have him there. He was like a pillar of strength. With that in mind, I fearlessly opened the Polonia box. Inside, wrapped, this, wrapped in silk, was a small wooden board inked in, in calligraphy. What is this? It looks like the kind of thing you, seem, you see at somebody's grave. That's exactly what it is. It's a wooden grave tag. 
It's kind of a protective charm. It's the sort of thing that burn they burn a Buddhist cider stick in ceremonies. Hmm. I wasn't particularly well versed in Buddhist practices, but in a place like this, any sort of protective charm seemed like a good to item to have. I got a get out of jail free card. So when the ghost grabs me, I can burn its face off. I'm going to try opening up the uh, the girls' room now. I think I'm going the right way. I believe I am. All right, Tags, can I burn you away with the sigil? Let's see. Maybe we can use the grave tag we found to get inside. Burn that shit. The writing on the paper charms really does look similar to the writing on the grave tag, but what are they supposed to do with it? Maybe trying, maybe try chucking it at the seals. <laughs> just grab it and throw it at the paper. Sounds like a good way to get cursed. How about I just sit it on the ground nearby instead? Fukurai did exactly that, and after only a few moments, there was a, notice, a noticeable change in the air. Then all of a sudden, the grave tag emitted a bright blue light and the door was engulfed in flames. Crap, the whole building's gonna burn down. No, wait, look. I already turned to run, but at Fukuroi's urging, I turned back, and I had to admit what I saw to find my expectations and explanations as well. The flames weren't actually engulfing the door, but rather just the protective charm papers affixed to... What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> I heard, like, a slight, like, tingling noise for some reason. Tingling noise, yes, that's how you describe that. The flames were actually engulfing the door, but rather just the protective charms affixated to the door. Okay. After several seconds of burning, the paper charms were completely vaporized and flames dutifully vanished. And it and if they as if they were never even there. I'm a crazy person. I like to save. Every five seconds I get. It's a visual novel type game. You can't be too safe. The protective charms are gone. The girl's restroom doors now stands wide open. Then go inside. What's stopping you? Besides the ghost. That don't look good. <laughs> what is that? There's a body hanging in one of the ceiling beams, swaying back and forth ever so slightly. It's completely de uh, decomposed, but judging by the uniform, it was probably a female junior or senior high school student in life. Behind the swinging corpse, there was a conspicuous hole visible in the back wall. And all around it, on all sides, there's graffiti exactly... Wait, what? There's graffiti, exactly the kind you expect to find in a public lavatory. Lavatory? Is that really how you say it? I always called it the lavatory. For dirty drawings, to for... <laughs> from dirty drawings to for a good time. Call me. I'll be waiting for you. Dead cat in class three's locker. I'm watching you from above. Oh, don't say that. From 3A's Loves. Japanese studies teacher, Mr. Blank, just died already, you pervert. There's a name tag on the girl's uniform. Rubens Academy Senior High School. Miyoka Natsuo. Or Natsuno. Okay, well, do I... Can I go through the pole in the back? How do I do this? There's water in the basin. It's brown and thick, and drain must be completely stopped. Okay. Hmm. Do I not like... It's locked from the inside, it won't open. There's a tiny hole in the door. What's this? Maybe we can see inside from here. Why would I take a look? Maybe we can just see... Uh, maybe we can see what's in there from this hole. Mitsuki, come on. You fucking look from the hole, I'm not doing that. I put my eye up to the hole. I saw the telltale glint of another eye staring right back at me from within. What is it? Somebody's in there. They was looking back. They were looking back at me. What? That can't be. You don't see any feet along the bottom of the of the stall, right? Let me have a look. Fukurai ducked down and pe and peeked in through the hole exactly as I had. Oh! Fukurai, what happened? You all right? Uh, Fukurai, no. You're joking, right? 
fell into his side, and as soon as I could see his face, I noticed that his right glasses lens was cracked, and his right eye was bloody. Oh, no. In closer inspection, I noticed a round hole in the lens, as if a small stick or a fat needle had been instantaneously driven through into, wow, driven through it deep into his eyes. Bakuroi, please stay with me. There was no hint of a response. Oh, they just straight up killed him. That could have been me. He just kept, he just kept subtly convulsing and as if being, as if being electrocuted. How did this happen? What was going on? Boys aren't allowed in the girl's room. Oh, come on. You can't say that. Oh no, evil demon. Be gone with you. Who? Wh what did you do? I saw a door open, revealing a little girl with an airy blue glow about her. She looked to be around grade school age, a fifth or sixth grader maybe. One of her eyes had been completely pulverized, but her face showed no indication of pain. Rather, it had a certain stoic quality to it. It was unreadable. Most disturbing of all, however, was the object she held in her right hand. It was an awl, or ice pick, or some or some such thing with a bloody with a bloody dripping blade. Are you the one who left that boy in there? W wait, I Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, a little too close for my comfort. <laughs> What's poppin', gamers? Hey and all, how's it going? Before I even had a chance to answer, the girl leapt from the stalls with blinding speed. That's not allowed. What the fuck happened to me? Is she gouging out my eyes? Reacting as quick as I could, I threw my arms in front of my face and almost immediately felt the ice pick blade pierce right into it. Not just once, but twice. Three times. It dug deep into my arms, my palm, my shoulder. Stop. Stop it. It hurts. I had to run. But she wasn't about to let me. She just quietly kept hacking away, working her way up and down the entire length of my arm. Bit by bit, my skin and flesh was chipped away until finally the ice pick completely penetrated my palm and began boring into my cheek. Eventually, my ears had hacked apart, and then I was scalped so thoroughly that I could hear the sound of my skin peeling away with, with my remaining ear. There was nothing in the world but pain at this point. I could have focused on anything else if I had wanted to. My vision was blank, and I honestly couldn't tell her if it was because I had my eyes closed or if, if, or if I simply didn't have eyes anymore. I only knew for sure that I was still being hacked apart because I could hear it. The pain gave no indication, as if it was already omnipresent. I begged for mercy several times in vain before I finally just started praying that this agony would come to an end. Please, God. I'll endure whatever trials lie ahead with open arms if you'll just save me now. I beg of you, please, make it stop. What the hell? <laughs> I had no control over that. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. I straight up just heard that. Why is my... Hold up. All right. I have to check something on the stream real quick. Where is the volume at on these alerts? Why is it so quiet? It's quieter than usual for some reason for me. Are you guys able to hear that? Hmm. Let's see, I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. I had straight up should have had one of the worst nights of my goddamn life. Oh, seriously? Damn, that sucks. What happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, let's try. Let's try not fucking this up again. Let's see. You can hear it a little bit? Okay, let me let me check that real quick, cause usually it's like an okay it's at an okay volume, but right now it's like really quiet for some reason. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up by like I'm gonna put it up by like two decimals, maybe three, maybe three. See how that sounds. Oh shit! No, really, man. Oh no. I don't oh. I hate I hate that I'm saying it like that, but like I don't know how to react to that. 
recovered from the hospital, but tried. Okay, is he... It, I'm, I'm sorry to presume. Um, is he or she... Are they stable, or do you know if they... Do you know if they, uh, unfortunately passed? That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um... Well, let's try going into the girls' room again. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, well, first things first. I guess... Oh, there's another stall. They're all right. It's been transferred to psych now. Okay. All right, well, that... That's good. I hope they're okay. I hope they can recover. I mean, like I'm I'm going to I'm going to assume, right? Probably shouldn't assume. But I'm going to assume that whenever you have free time, you're probably going to go and visit them later on and, you know, talk to them from there and from uh, you know, from here and there. But I hope I hope everything turns out all right. That really that's really like <laughs> that really sucks, man. It's locked from the inside. It won't open. Okay, what about this open stall right here? Can I go in there? You know what was weird is that she said there was a hole back here? Like an entrance? But for some reason I wasn't able to go inside. Okay. Locked from the inside. It won't open. There's a tiny hole in the door. I'm not gonna look. So you can do a little bit of leave. Yeah, I... I mean... I hope... I hope they let you, right? Because... You know, I, I think I talked about it before, but I remember I was, uh... I was in the hospital for, like, a week before, and... I remember I called out to my job, and then the moment I called out, I went in next week, and without anyone telling me, they took me off the schedule. And I was like, you serious? And I had to talk to someone else to get my schedule back. It's like, well, we can't schedule people who are unreliable. I was in the hospital, you jackass. Alright, well... Yeah, I mean, e even if they don't let you off of leave, there are some times where you just gotta be like, fuck it. Alright. Okay, so... I'm afraid I can't do anything in the girls' room. I might... <laughs> I might, uh... Huh. I can't look in the hole, because if I look in the hole, then... He, then, uh... Fukuri's gonna look in the hole. And if he looks in the hole, he dies. And if he dies, then I die. Sorry for bringing the tone down. No, it's fine. It's fine. Like I say, like I say every time, this place is a safe place. If anyone has, like, this is why I always, uh, I always leave my, um, DMs on Twitter open if anyone ever wants to talk about anything. I may not get to you right away, but it's still there, right? And the only reason I don't do it on Discord is because I rarely check my Discord. Let's see. I'm sorry, what the hell did this say? I didn't even read it. This is divine punishment. Represent through death. That's all that's written in here. Okay. Punishment. So, is that just warning me? Just don't go in? Is it just like, nah, man, don't go in. You're good. <laughs> Do I still have that, uh... Pellet knife, small key, old key. Matches. Okay. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can really do in the bathroom. Uh, because... Because one-eyed girl's gonna stab my eyeballs out. So... Maybe I can try heading to the others, other rooms real quick to see if I can find something. Looks like it's a bucket. There's nothing inside. Is this still locked? 
Frozen in place? Okay. Hmm. I want to make sure that there is a... That I, that I can exhaust every... Every option that I have before I go back in that room. It, we tried to go to the boys' room earlier. Uh, ER cleared him? Okay. That's good. Boys from is completely boarded up. Do you know what lies beyond the school? Okay. There's the exit, the staff room, the music room, which we just got the key from. We can't go into the staff room. Let's try heading... The art room is which way? The art room is this way. Let's try to heading to the art room, checking in the cabinets again, seeing if there's like any other item I can pick up. Because that's the only thing I can think of right now. Hmm. Let me see. Okay. There's that. There's nothing in there. Plaster. Okay. Nothing in there. There was this door. Not door, but this wall. Got a bad feeling you should leave. Okay. So nothing in the art room, really. How have we not ran into the other guy already? Yeah, you're not going to be okay until you see him. Yeah, I understand that. Definitely. What's on the wall here? Can I not check this out? This is where we got the, uh... What did we get from here? It's where we got the small key, right? No, this is where we got the talisman thing. Not talisman, but, you know. This is just a memo, so that's nothing important. Let's see, one of the candles is found in this room. Can I not, like, light a candle and, like, chuck it in the fucking bathroom? Burn the ghost to a corpse? <laughs> Burn the ghost to a corpse that it does not have. Okay. There's nothing in the exit, because that's where we got the... That's where we got the first key. I guess I did something wrong in the in the bathroom. I don't. Looks like they only gave me like one choice, but huh. Yeah, I definitely understand that. Hmm. Let's see. Is there... Because I checked up here, they talked about the... They said there's like a hole back here or something, right? Wait, what? Skeletal body. Okay. It's locked from the inside, it won't open. There's a tiny hole in the door. No, we're not going to peek through that, because he'll die. <laughs> and there's this other door here. It's locked from the inside. It won't open. Huh. Where was the, uh... Can barely be seen hanging inside the stall through the space above the door. Is there really nothing else in here for me? Okay. Does anybody have any ideas what the hell I should do? Because <laughs> last thing I want to do is look it up, right? That's the last thing I want to do, but I might have to do that. Hmm. 
Don't know how the game tells you about what the girl was doing with the ice pick. Oh, she was stabbing me. She was stabbing me and she killed me. How you scalp someone with an ice pick? I mean, if you like, I if you I guess if you like impaled the skin on the skull and wrapped it around. There's the ref room, hallway, art room. Huh, not a clue. I haven't played this one yet. Yeah. That's kind of the downside of this. It's like, uh... The last thing I want to do is, like, walk down the hallway one by one and stare at the floor and see if there's something on the floor somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna beep bop real quick. <laughs> Alright, maybe... I'll head to the exit area. Maybe I'll find something just sitting there for me. Hmm. Because we checked in here, and that's where we got the key. This is just a door that won't open. Can't go into the staff room. Can't use the bucket for anything. I'll check the music room one more time. But I don't think there's anything I can get from there. Wait, anime, they make anything possible. I haven't watched, uh, Higurashi. And the only reason I haven't watched it is because I found out it came from a visual novel first, and I'm a weirdo, and I like to play things, like, kind of in order, unless it's, like, too bad to go back to. So before I watch that, I'll, uh, I'll play that game. Uh, this tragedy must not be allowed to spread any further. Is there anything else in here? No. Piano. Do you got anything on you? Let's see. Fresh chords based on the size of the uniform. Looks to be a student. His throat seems to have been torn out, resulting in copious amounts of blood, not only on her uniform, but pools along the floor as well. Her mouth, too, it hangs agape, and she has no tongue. Apparently, it was cut out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but, uh,. I guess another example for that would be, like, if anyone's ever watched, uh, ever watched or read, because I believe it's from a short, not short, what am I saying? I believe it's from a, no a light novel, uh, Data Live. And the only reason I got into that is because a friend showed me. You're still alive, aren't you? Okay. Don't trust anyone, not a single person. There's a corpse here. Almost seems to be resting against the wall, or perhaps it was uh, posted up. Looks to be remains of a male student high. Wrists and ankles are bound by wire, and there also appears to be copious amounts of wire around its neck. Name tag. Uh, Kar Karashiki Industrial High School. Masaru Niji Nijino. Hmm. Didn't know it was a game until he watched it, and now they're redoing the anime on Funimation. Really? I never even watched the anime. I need to. But yeah, uh, there's a series called Data Live, and it it sprang up from a light novel, and the anime does a good job in, like, you know, summing all that up. But the way they do it is that, like, there's season one, and then there's a visual novel that takes place between that. Then there's season two, then another visual novel, then there's season three, and another visual novel. And you don't need to play the visual novels, but if you do... There's, like, some nice little Easter eggs in there for you for the show. Right? And it also makes you care about the characters more, because you're like, oh, man, look at the shit they went through. That show's also kind of funny to me, because, uh... Because, um, it really starts out, like, it's called Data Life. It really starts out, like, uh, you know, your comedical romance anime with, like, superpowers and shit. But then by the third season, by the third season, they're like, hey, remember that time we made this character who had, like, this tragic backstory? Let's talk about that for a whole season and make you, like, really depressed. And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess we're doing that now. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> I think I'm at my wit's end. Nothing in the bucket. Frozen in place. Alright, well, let's head to the girls' room little ladies room 
I turn to reach for my phone and my dog is just sitting there like in the perfect position to be to just intercept my hand and to receive a pet on the head. All right. Let me look this up because cuz they're going to do some bullshit. <laughs> Got to check out the vision novel, but you agree on the last season? Yeah, definitely. Like it was, not only that it was like really crazy, but also they like anything that has to do with time travel or anything like that, I'm really hesitant on because it's easy to fuck it up. They did a pretty good job with it, except for the one part where it's like uh where he's like, "Okay, I'm just going to explain it to the other characters now and they're just okay with it and there's no consequences." <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, okay, that sounds cool." <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, Corpse Party, Book of Shadows. Chapter's called Shangri-La. Shangri-La Walk Through. All right. Let me just look this up real quick. Uh, all right. I gotta check my darkening too. My darkening hasn't even gone up despite the fact that I've been looking at uh dead bodies and shit. Yeah. Let's see. Uh why is it tell me about chapter one? Stop that. <laughs> Don't do that. Alright, let's see. Oh here it is. Uh I saw it for a moment. Alright, instead need to put the wind up key in the hole and wait what wind up key? Hold up, take that back a second. There's a wind up key. Can I not examine these? Huh. No, man, anytime. Anytime you need uh, someone to talk to, we're here, man. Definitely. Alright, what the fuck are they talking about? Wind-up key. Uh... What? There's a spirit hanging around somewhere? Hold up. Hold the left side, okay. Hold on, East, girl's room. There's a wind-up key. Spirit can interact with them. Wait, what? In the hall southeast of the girls' room, there is a wind-up key we need and a spirit we can interact with, though doing so will lead to bad endings. Southeast from the girls' room? Let's see. What the fuck are they on about? Uh, Wish I waited to watch Course Party anime and play the games first, but always doing stuff in the back <laughs> backwards. Yeah. I mean, if you need... uh. <clears throat> Here's a little shameless self-plug here. If you need... They said southeast, by the way, right? So, like, over here. Um, If you need, there is a walkthrough I did of the first Corpse Party game. Not walkthrough, but a playthrough, a stream, that I did of the first Corpse Party game, and that's all on my, uh, on my YouTube. Whenever I'm done with playthroughs, I load them up to YouTube. And then maybe on the side, I'll put a... You know, Let's Plays in there. Still working on that, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Let's Play. Oh! Look at this. There's a piece of scrap paper on the floor near the body. Seems to have been torn out of a large minimal pad. Several lines are written on with pink ink. We left a note for Nozomi, telling her to come to the staff room. There's no turning back now. But I shouldn't feel sorry for her. Without food, all three of us will die. And Nozomi's injured. So, she's never be able to get away from that man. Alright. Do I... Alright. It's a comparative flesh, uh... It's a fresh corpse. Based on size uniform, looks like the body of a female. Expression on her face is almost joyous. Unfortunately, her ID is clearly legible. Kyo, uh, Kyo Girls Academy Middle School, Reina Misato. All right. With black dress and white shoes, favor 
favors glass houses. No men in the in the restaurant. Restaurant? Wait, what? Is that supposed to say restaurant? Did they misspell rest? Did, hmm? Is that a word that I just don't know? Is that me being illiterate again? It's supposed to be a wind-up key somewhere. It said Southie. Oh, and it said a spirit that will kill me. And of course it will kill me because it's a bad spirit. It's a red spirit. Old-fashioned wind-up. It's just an old-fashioned wind-up key. But what does it wind up? Looks like it's about the right size for a toy. But in this place, you never really know. You might as well take it with us, then. You may come across whatever it attaches to at some point. Hmm. Okay, and then we go to the girls' room. See, that's the one thing I don't really... Like... I don't want to say I don't like this game, because I do like it. But... It's kind of weird to, um... When they want you to explore shit, because it's like... It's like, here's the hallway, and here's the rooms that are clearly labeled that we want you to look at. A fancy way to spell restaurant. Also, so to my YouTube. Thank you. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Most of the, most of the subs I get on my YouTube, uh, YouTube is from people who watch the... Uh, <laughs> I hate saying it because I feel embarrassed now. Is uh, people who watch the... Uh, just like the quick two videos I put out. Well, I say quick. They were like a year apart. But it's, uh, what if My Hero Academia characters had, uh, Disney themes? And I only did it to, like, you know, do a little fun thing. And now that's what everybody wants. They want me to just make more of that. It's locked from inside. It won't open. There's a tiny hole in the door. I will not peek. Must be some purpose to the hole, I wonder. Insert the wind-up key. Working on a hunch, I took the wind-up key from my pocket and tried sticking it in the hole. Surprisingly, it was a perfect fit. Then I turned it, and with just a little bit of force, I spurred 180 degrees to the right and produced a loud click. I guess it was—I guess it wasn't a wind-up, a wind-up toy after all. Then, it seemed like I flipped some kind of switch. A switch? It doesn't seem like anything changed, though. Wait, look at the hole. As if one cue a single hairline steam. Uh, what? A single hairline stream of blood began oozing out from behind the wind-up key. It slowly winded its way down to the door and formed a globby pool at its base. The whole room then filled with the pungent, pungent, pungent odor all, all at once. The smell, it seems. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. It don't look like nothing. Another earthquake? Hmm. I think it's over. That scared the crap out of me. This whole building is run down, though. There's no telling when it will just up and collapse. Yeah, we need to hurry and find a way out of here. So is that open? Locked inside, it won't open. Still line of decorations along the door, leading from the hole down to the pool of blood below. I see no blood. You're lying to me, video game. You're a liar. Alright, so, usually in Corpse Party, when earthquakes happen, that means we must have changed spaces, or something has happened. So let's check out the area. Maybe there's like a new area to discover, or something. Maybe the staff room is opened. Quick question aside, when can you find the group Discord link to join? I don't have a Discord. <laughs> I don't have a Discord. I'm just saying that, uh, because <clears throat> usually people ask me, like, to put a, to send out, like, a Discord friend request. Or to, like, put my disc, uh, send my Discord to them so they can do a friend request. And I do, like, I do that, but I'm barely on Discord. And at this moment, at this moment, I don't think that I would have any time to, like, uh, to actively, like, you know, be on it that much. So, I would love to have, like, an, like, I would love to start a Discord group. But, um, unfortunately, I just don't have time. I mean, I, 
Like I'm in New York and I fucking I stream the game at like two in the morning. That's how much time I have. Uh, the exit door is rattling with the rain and wind. It seems like a perfectly normal uh seems like perfectly normal, perfectly open door now. Oh, Fakure, look. I think we can just get. I think we can get outside. Maybe you shouldn't go outside. Maybe that's a bad idea. Mayu, are you in here? Hmm. No luck. Oh, Mayu, where could you be? Another dead body. What in the world is going on in the school? Mayu mustn't be. Um, Mayu mustn't be left to herself in this horrible place like this. I hope she's at least with Miss Yui or Mochita. Okay. So now we're playing as Morishigi, it seems. The psychopathic dude who likes to take pictures of dead bodies. Let me... For some reason, my window is super not in the right spot. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Did that not save? There we go. Oh, here's the music I was talking about. You, got, you guys see what I mean where like the audio mixing is weird? Like it had nothing but amb ambient noises for a while. And now the music is up and it's like super loud. <laughs> also, let me know if the music's too loud. Cause then I'll have to lower it again. Can I not? What the hell? Well, guess I have to check the area then. I can't open the map. It's a corp that only just started to decay. Seems to be a junior high school girl. And from the looks of it, she was cut completely in half using some sort of edged instrument. How awful. The cuts. The wow. To cut someone in two, spine and all, it would be. It would take the finest katana to pull that off. Either that or some form of machinery. The blood spray is primarily on this on this side, so I guess she was attacked from the front. Hmm, what is this? I noticed the notebook, partially jutting out from her pocket. It was on those cat themed it was one of those cat themed spiral notebooks. That's all the rage with teenagers these days. There may be information in here relevant to escaping this hell. I apologize for the intu for the intrusion, miss. But I feel like I might I might need this. I have no idea why I've been trapped here, but at least we're here together. Mr. Goto's, Goto's, Mr. Goto's presence makes us all feel a little more at ease. Why am I getting like a flashback to like, if anyone's ever watched High School of the Dead and there's like the teacher in that show, <laughs> the guy, <laughs> the guy who just blatantly like kills someone out in public and nobody sees it. Without any adult around, I don't think we can handle any of this. Mr. Goto seems even more anxious than we are. He says he'll make sure we all get home safely. Well, that was a lie. But his temperament just keeps getting worse. <laughs> yes, see, there you go. Yeah, he's like, he's like, Sensei, I can't run anymore. And he's like, well, I guess you're useless to me. And he just kicks him in the face and he starts screaming and no one sees it besides, uh, besides Ray. And she's like, what the fuck? Did no one see that? And they're like, Ray, shut the hell up. They're like, Ray, you sound like a bitch. <laughs> you just don't like him. As he's also like groping all the students and shit. It's weird. He's, he's usually so cool, but lately he's just gotten kind of scary. Ooh, kawaii. Not kawaii, kawaii. It's a difference. Hiroko, uh, Arisa, 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 that's how you pronounce that. Hiroko, Arisa, and the others are getting really fed up with him. Mr. Gato is so unfair. I call him Gato, like he's a fucking cat. He keeps playing favors with Hiroko. That was the last of our food, too. Did I say favors? Wait, what? Did I read that right? No, he's playing favorites. I didn't read that right. And I'm the one who stopped Hiroko and, Ar and Ariko from fighting. That guy was a freak? He was. Mr. Goto is dead. Rejoice. We're all happy. No help here, it seems. No help here, it seems. Aren't there any other clues to be found? Hey, you. Got any information for me? <laughs> Talking to a corpse. I must be losing my mind. How strange, though, that I can come face to face with the dead right now and not bet an eye. <laughs> Perhaps my sense of fear has gone numb. 
Until now, until not long ago, this girl was just like me. Breathing, thinking, living her life. Look at her now. Nothing but a foul-smelling pile of meat. She's such, she has such a pretty face. But before long, that face is just going to rot. Not a soul will, and not a soul will ever want to look at her again. What a freak! Hey, you there? What are you doing? Uh, nothing of substance. Just trying to find clues as to my situation here. Oh my God! Really? But Cheetah runs into this guy. Okay. Unfortunately, this guy gets taken over in the first game. All right then. I just hear a voice over here, and it got me wondering. Shogo, Ta uh, Shogo Tachiki, that's the name. As you can see, I'm a cameraman. Though not the artistic kind who plans on hitting the, uh, hitting the indie film circuits or anything. I came here to get footage for a special report, but I got separated from my boss along the way. How about you? I got myself lost in this school building, and I'm presently searching for my friend. Uh-oh. You don't mean the girl on the ground over there, do you? Oh no, I never met her before. Phew, that's good. Well, kinda, I guess. Anyways, may I ask your name? And the name of the friend you're looking for, too, while I'm at it? I'm Suka- Um, wow. These names. I'm Sakutaro uh, Morishigi, and the girl I'm looking for is named Mayu Suzumoto. She's short, smiles a lot, and has a generally cheerful con uh, count countenance. Countenance? Countenance? Co I can't say that word. Is it countenance stance? Or something like that? Is that how you pronounce that? Suzumoto, huh? Suzumoto. The cameraman named uh, Tanshiki suddenly flipped out the LCD screen on his camcorder and began rewinding through footage. Hmm, what are you doing? Well, I don't want to sound crass, but I'm checking through the footage I captured since coming here to see if her name comes up at all. I intend to file a police report when I get back, so I've been gathering information on all the dead kids I found in here, like from their name tags. Bite your tongue! Don't say such stupid things. Mayu is all right. I know she is. Oh, sorry, sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I don't see anyone named Suzumoto in my footage. And may I say, you're really very brave. Oh? Well, whether you're looking for a friend or not, you really seem to put your put your all into searching that body, you know? You're the one taking videos of corpses. <laughs> well, being a cameraman is kind of a strange thing that way. As long as I'm looking at them through a finder, it's all just business to me. But if I try to look at them with my bare eyes, I freeze up. There's a famous story about a battlefield camera whose camera broke while he was out on the job, and he literally started crying like a baby. I see. That makes sense. Of course it makes sense to you, Morshigi, because you take pictures and videos of them, and you're like, Oh, what wonderful, what wonderful viscera I see here. It's, it's very titillating. And he touches himself to it like a weirdo. You're not too interested in any of this, are you? I do have a tendency to run my mouth off sometimes. Naho's always scolding me for that. Hey, I know. How about we search for our companions together? What do you say? No, I'm sorry. I appreciate the offer, but I prefer the search alone for the time being. I hate to get in your way after all. Like hell I'm gonna tag along with a, with a motor mouth like this. Besides, he's my elder, so I have to mind my manners, which I'd really rather not do. Okay, well, uh, then how about we arrange to meet again? There must be high EMFs in here or something, because nothing can keep time in this damn place. But, let's say we try meeting up after an hour, give or take. I mean, we can both count ourselves lucky if we run into another living being, and I'm sure an exchange of information must sound good to you, no? Alright, if that's what you want. Okay, that's settled then. Take care now, you hear? And then he went to get himself killed. <laughs> the end. Alright, now I can actually search around. Look at his fucking glasses! Has no eyes, you can't see his soul. Those anime glasses. That just says, I'm a nerd. Look at me. <laughs> I'm making fun of his glasses as, as I'm wearing glasses while I play this. That reminds me. I should... I should, uh... I should probably, uh... Contact my, uh... My eye doctors and... 
I probably can get like a new set of glasses if I wanted to. A sudden feeling of dread overcame me. I stopped in my tracks and began to survey my surroundings. It's dangerous beyond this point. The covered walkway up ahead shouldn't even be here. Well now, this is a surprise. Am I seeing a human spirit or is it something more than a pure hallucination? Upon that musing, the spirit vanished from sight. But the sense that I was being watched remained. And that guy was a freak. Oh man. There was covered uh there was a covered walkway beyond this heavy iron door. A covered walkway that wasn't supposed to be here, evidently. Did I care uh, did I dare challenge it? Covered walkway that wasn't supposed to be here. You mean like this doorway? Huh, those glasses take up his face. <laughs> Make super clear like most anime. You know what? Um, damn it, I just did it. As I was about to say it, I just did the thing I was about to say. Uh, I noticed that when I started wearing my glasses, I kept like lifting up my glasses like they do in anime, like subconsciously. Because it's just easier that way. You don't want to touch the lenses, right? This seems like a bad idea. It was a it was a blue spirit that told me not to go in there. Open the door and proceed to the walkway. Ooh, seems like such a bad idea. He's like, listen, that's not even supposed to be here. I don't think you should touch that. You know what? Hmm. I'll heed, I'll heed, I'll heed thy warning for now. I'll head to the locker room. <laughs> Do it to blame all the anime? Exactly. Alright, let's see. Oh no! That's bad! There's no here near the body, neatly folded. Three times. Okay. The four of us, the four of us killed Mr. Gato. I talked it over with Hiroko, Ar Arisa, and Naroki, Naroki, uh, Narika, and we decided there was no other choice. He may be a nice man, but it was the only matter. It was only a matter of time before that changed in here. It's hard to trust anyone in this place like this. And now that the deed is done, Hiroko and the others have started second guessing themselves. Now they're dead too, and I'm all alone. There's nothing to eat, and I'm starving, so I tried eating rats and cockroaches, but that just gave me severe diarrhea. My lips have dried out, and I've almost lost a lot of weight. I've almost? My bad. I've lost a lot of weight. So I've decided to kill myself before the ghost kills, uh, before the ghost kids or the hammer-wielding man gets me. After all this, I finally realized the time I spent with Mr. Gato, Hiroki, and the others was the best of my life. Goodbye, Dad, Mom, and all my friends from class. Please don't ever forget me. But they do! They do forget you, I think. If you don't make it back. The ending of Quartz Party 1 shows us that. Do you have something on you? It's more recently deceased corpse. The clothing and general body mass suggests us that the uh, junior high school girl in life, based on the height and shower head, positioning of the body, it appears to have been a suicide. Name tag is shown. Hanoko Nanjo. Hmm. Hanoko Nanjo. Okay. I don't think there was anything I can pick up over here or nothing like that. Check the pool out. The fucking creature from the Black Lagoon is gonna jump out and grab me. That'll look good. Hmm. There's another corpse there. How's my darkening looking? 2%? That's not bad. The skeletal remains of a student. He's not wearing any sort of uniform per se, but his build suggests probably male. What is he wearing? At least it's a name tag. Okay. Raiki Nishiki. Or not, or not, or, or, nige, or Nigashi. Ni, ni. Yeah, I know what I just said. <laughs> They're forcing me to say bad words. It's okay though, I'm black. I can get away with it. I have my end card. I was born with it. <laughs> it's about extreme. It's an extremely decayed corpse. Based on the uniform and tall stature, 
This seems to have been a senior high school boy. His name tag is pretty mucked up and legible. Alright. Cute. Kiyomasa Kage. Kage? Kage. Kage? Kage. Something like that. Alright, well I don't think there's anything in here that I need. Can't go in there. Well, we can go in there, but I don't want to. Uh, we can check out 4A. <laughs> Those trumpets really be popping off in the music. Exactly. Like, you see what I mean? Like, it was pretty quiet. Is it? I feel like the music is too loud. Is it too loud? Because <laughs> it's loud in my headset. <laughs> That's for sure. I can barely hear myself think. Uh, that door is locked. Is there anything in the dead end? There's a door here. Hmm. Notice I'll be careful reading the names if I play this game. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they got me, but they didn't realize that I... They, they didn't think that a, that a black man would be playing a game with ghosts in it. They're like, nah, he would hell know his way out of there. And to be right, in any other horror game I play, I definitely hell know my way out of places. If you check out the White Day playthrough, there's multiple times where I close doors and I just go, Nope! Not going in that room! It's fine? Okay. As long as it's not super loud, right? It's really hard to, like, balance the audio for this game, specifically. Alright, what's in here? There are lots of old stationary goods inside, like rusted paper clips and beat-up staplers. Not a one of them seems able... Uh, seem able? Wow. Well, seem usable or functional. Except perhaps this spool of... a uh, spool of kite string mixed in with them. Maybe I should take this with me. Damn right, take it. Seems... seems as good as new, and it might come in handy. And then the ghost grabs it out of my pocket and strangles me with it. Aren't you forgetting something? Be careful on your way home. Don't say that to me. How dare you? Building super? Oh, the super. Okay. Like superintendent. The door to Custodian's closet is frozen in place. Alright, well... What about over here? What's in this dead end? Nothing? Nothing. Got it. Okay. So I believe that's what we needed in here. This is ac this is accessible, but I don't want to go there yet. Um, did I go upstairs yet? I want to grab as many items as I can before I try going through that door. You know, better go prepared, am I right? My dog is resting on my TV remote. She's like flipping through channels and shit. Alright, there's nurse's office, lab. Oh man, there's a lot of places to explore right now. Oh my god. There's nothing stopping this man from going around the school. And there's another floor, too. God damn it. Alright, well, let's try going to the nurse's office. Oops. The nurse's office where most people die. <laughs> the door to the infirmary, uh, infirmary is frozen. Alright, well, that's good. I don't have to check that out. What about the lab? Shig, don't look at me. What? Am I hearing things now? Don't look at me. Well, I know that's... Oh, I'm not gonna... It said don't look at me, so I'm not gonna look... I'm not gonna look at anything in that... In that area. But, um... I know that's Mayu, but... Huh. Door Science Lab is frozen. Got it. Hmm. 
I know that's Mayu from the first game saying that, but... She died differently this time around. So... I don't know why she would be seeing that now, unless she's contacting him, like, right after he looked at the body he saw earlier. Because that can be her. Piece of paper hastily taped onto the glass door. Return to the, uh, return the class log logbook. I'm getting angry. Do you want to be killed? Oh, fuck. Let me get out of here. I think I should find the logbook and give it to them. If I can find the logbook, I'll try and hand it to, like, put it in that area. There's a whole line of milk bottles here, and each one of them is filled with muddy, unidentifiable liquid. Alright, anything else in here? Request from Nurse Shinozaki. We received new furnishings. Please try to keep them clean. Let's take good care of our school environment. Hmm, okay. I see no problem with that. This is where I started out, right? Yeah, this is where I started out. And then we left from here, so... Uh. There's a twisted length of wire inside. The door seems to be busted, so it should be easy to pull through. You never know when something like this might come in handy. Maybe I should take it with me. I never get any use something like this. Okay. He said it's easy should, to just grab it, but I don't believe that. I think I'll start cutting my arm up or something. Take it. Yes, it can't hurt to have this on hand. Okay, nothing bad happened there. half of corpse sprawled out on the ground, seems to be junior high. Okay, nothing new there. Take me to 1B. I don't think I should read that. <laughs> that will curse me for sure. Okay. Oh, I can't even look at this. Alright, what do you got? There's a message permanently carved into the blackboard here, as if by nail. Why? What did I do to deserve this? God damn it, it's all his fault. He's the one who made us do this ritual. Friends forever? Look where that got us. He's in here somewhere too, and if I see him, I'm gonna kill him. I swear I'll do it. I'll make it- I'll make as if I'm hugging him. Like I also like I'm also happy to see him. And then I'll wring his filthy neck until I break his trachea. And then I'll curse him. Forever. You better not be talking to me. I'm getting the fuck out of this room. There's a large hole on the floor here. It's definitely couldn't be crawled safely. Oh. Okay, well I'm not trying to go there. I'm trying to go in one C. There's a, an, uh, an ordinarily large number of dead bugs inside. Okay. Blackboard? Message is written here in chalk. Okay. That went- that was right that was right directly in my ear. It freaked me out a bit. <laughs> right behind you. Don't turn around, because if you do... <laughs> Jackass. That's when you walk out the room backwards. <laughs> oh, fuck. You have me dead to rights. Oh, you have me dead to rights. Go. Out of that room, I will go. The floor has collapsed here. Won't be possible to go any further. Oh, man, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. All right, well, what about here? We can never go back in that room ever again. Note to self. Large hole here. 
Okay. And that's good. So... I can never go back in this room ever again. Hmm. I'm gonna try to loop around and go from the other set of stairs, because there might be something on the other... on the other side. Might be something I can pick up here. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Alright. It's worth a shot. Okay. So I'm gonna check I'm gonna check the exit now, and then if there's nothing in there for me, I'll head through that doorway. Cause I think I checked everything I could. Tashi's not here yet. I guess it probably hasn't been an hour. Okay. Let's get that saved through there. I have I have a piece of twine and fucking and a and string. <laughs> a little scrap of metal and string. Time to kill myself. Do it! Just as my hand touched the knob. Oh! I was sent flying backwards, some tremendous force. For a split second, I swore I saw a figure, but it could have just been in my imagination. The pain from my pain from my impact, however, was very real. Maybe that was no hallucination, Ashler, after all. And ultimately, I was unable to open the door. I took a big hit to my darkening for that. But hey, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take the hit. I won't reload my save. That's okay. I'm a man. I can take it. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Hmm. Let's head back to 5A. I don't think there was... Was that where I got the uh, string from? Is this still close? Can I pick the lock? Is it possible for me to pick the lock? Door's frozen in place. One open. Gotcha. Uh, one of these hallways had a door on it. Was it this one? Hmm. Door's frozen in place. Okay. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. Might not work, but it might. Alright. So... Where was it? Was it right here? I think it was right here. There we go. There's some sort of stain on the wall here. Such a moist, foul Im impression. Simple stained leaves. What could have caused it? Pull yourself together, Sukotaro. You need to find Mayu and escape from this place. Okay. Hmm. 
I can check I can check 3A and 2A again. Okay. All right. Who was it that took my class logbook from the reference room? I won't get mad. Just give it back now. Okay. Reference room. I don't know where the reference room is at. I don't even think I can access the reference room from here. I also didn't mean to walk back in the hallway. I wanted to check out this room one more time, but that's okay. Nothing. There's a whole line of milk bottles here. Okay. Check these room again. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything else much inside. Can look at the candle again. This is one of the class rep's candles. I guess it means she's okay. All right. Uh. What do I have in my inventory again? Kite string and wire. Nothing I can do with that? There's nothing here? No? Okay. Is there no way I can, like, turn my character around? <laughs> I want to, like, face the, the... the hole on the ground. Hmm. I'll try going up this way. Nope. And there's a hole here, too. I can't, like, inspect the holes or anything. Oh, what the hell is this? What the fuck you mean, hi? Is a largely decomposed corpse. Based on the blood mass, this actually looks like it may have been an adult male. I love how I clicked on the body and he said, he said, hi. Like he's like a mile away from me. He's like, hey, how's it going? Probably a phys ed instructor. Seems to be wearing a jersey and there's a whistle hanging, ar hanging limply around his neck. But closely, there appears to be lacerations across his entire body with a peculiar, uh, with a peculiar concentration along his back. The high got you? Yeah, it got me too. I'm wearing headphones. It sounded like directly behind me. He's like, hi! <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? There's no way these could have all been made by a single assailant. Most likely, he was, uh, he was flogged to death by multiple uh, aggressors all at once. Oh, so this must be the teacher, Mr. Gota. There's a custom name tag sewn into his jersey. Yeah, it's go. My bad, not Gota, go to. Is that it? Does he not have anything for me? How's my darkening looking? 40%? I want to check his body. He might have something on him. <laughs> Who the hell's gonna say hi in the middle of the school of corpses? It's largely decomposed. Okay, it's just fucking up my darkening now. That's great. 
Okay, well, this is where they killed that guy. How bad did I fuck up my dark? Okay, it's only at 42%. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's not too bad. Beware the children. You can't reason with them. Don't let your guard down. Oh, trust me, I fucking won't. Not going back in this room. <laughs> That's for sure. I guess I gotta go and check the corpses around here, huh? It's this room. I love how the music just changed now. For the worse. I checked that corpse already, right? I think I checked that one. I'm gonna head back downstairs. I think there's corpses downstairs I didn't check. That man really said hi to me though. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get over that. Fuck that room exactly. He said, don't turn around, you turn around, you're fucked. <laughs> so I I moonwalked out of there. Didn't turn around technically, did I? There's the locker room and the pool. I don't think there's anything in there though. Can't go there. There's nothing there. Was there a corpse in 5A? Might be a corpse like hanging around 5A or something. Get in there, Morshigi. You can do it, my buddy. Actually, I take that back. You're not my buddy, Morshigi. You're you're creepy. Huh. I checked this, right? This is where I got the... It's a lot of old state. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I checked that. I'm gonna look around. It's gotta be like a corpse or something I didn't check. Is that it? <laughs> Is that really it? There's nothing here for me? No corpse laying about? Okay. Maybe, maybe after talking to the, to the dead teacher, Tachki will show up. Let's see. What is the win condition of this game? Survive. In the first game, the first game was like an RPG maker style game, right? So you would like walk around the school and like investigate and like follow arbitrary like uh, riddles and shit, pick up items and um, and like kind of and just don't take the wrong route to death, right? There was a lot of like twists and turns and stuff and like moments where it's like, read the fine print, because if if you read the fine print, you'll definitely survive. But this one they took more of a uh, they took more of a visual novel uh aspect with it in this one, because I believe this came out on the PSP. I'm playing the Steam version right now, so. And then after this they did like a more comedical one. That's like, it's played for laughs, but it also, uh, apparently it also introduces new characters, at least that's what I'm told. So I'll play that at some point, but then, uh, after that they went back to kind of like the older style of it, of like, being in third person and like exploring the school and stuff like that. So, like I bought all the Chorus Party games after I played the first one. Cause I'm like, I, I'm gonna play all, I'm gonna play through all these games. I think after this though, once we finish this playthrough, I'll just, I'll finally go back to Phoenix Wright. Cause we did Phoenix Wright 1 and 2, right? Phoenix Wright and then Phoenix Wright Justice for All. And we still have to do Trials and Tribulations. And it's been, it's been too long. 
and I really want to play Phoenix Roy. <laughs> I really want to play more Phoenix Roy. <laughs> I miss Maya, I miss Pearl. I miss the happy times, the good times. I miss Edgeworth. I miss, I miss that sexy ass fucking devil Edgeworth. That hunk of man meat. <laughs> I miss Lotta Hart, she's great. Lotta Hart is so pretty. I think she might be like, she, she's one of the waifus. All right. Huh. I'm actually stumped, I don't know where to go. We'll play all the corpse party games in Higurashi. I wanna play Higurashi too. The only thing I know about Higurashi is the, is the, um, is the one clip that I saw from the anime, and it was like a long time ago, like back when I was in school and shit, and it's the one, and you've probably seen it in any, like, old-fashioned anime AMV or whatever, it always got, like, paired up with, like, the original uh, Devil Man, because the original Devil Man, you have, like, the dark moment where they take the characters and they put their heads on pikes and shit <laughs> and i'm like oh it's fucked up and then right after that it would cut to like the moment in higurashi where like a character puts a knife on the wall and they just start stabbing themselves over and over and you're like what the fuck you know back when everyone made like amvs that weren't like super heavily edited and like had fucking zoom ins and zoom outs and all that shit Fancy lights flashing in your face. Making you seize on the floor. Alright, fuck it. I'm looking it up. <laughs> I gotta look it up. I'm wandering around this goddamn school building. Not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Alright. Hmm. What the hell is it? All right, what am I reading? Uh, our actual next objective is to head to room 5A, take the kike string off the shelf, and head upstairs via southeast stairwell, and then to room 1A. If you're wondering why we took the stairwell, there's a hole on the other side. Take the wire from the cabinet and inspect the body on the left for another name tag. We can find a body name tag in the hall outside, now we have to go back to the spot where we started, first floor, uh, directly northwest of the exit, and examine the hole on the left. What? Anime had a lot of fucked up deaths. Yeah, from what I've heard, I guess because I, like, there was a moment where I just remembered the anime, because I was like, what the fuck was that anime I used to see, like, this one clip from? Where, like, one of the characters are just, like, stabbing themselves and they're laughing about it like it's fucking funny. Like, I was like, what the hell is that about? So I looked it up and, and, uh, found it was, uh, called Here They Cry or Here They Lie or whatever the hell. And then, uh, they said directly northeast, right? Oops, wrong button. And then, um... And then I found out that that was a visual novel, and it was also a visual novel that I've apparently seen before. And I was like, "Oh, it's this thing!" Like I've seen it. I've seen the visual novel laying around before, but I just never really paid it any mind. And then I was, I got a little curious, and I was like, "Okay, so what? What is this about?" And apparently, it has to do with like a time loop or some shit. I don't want to say too much because, you know, as of right now, I don't plan on, like, playing it on stream or anything, but if I do, maybe I will one day. Who knows? Take a bit of ingenuity to get whatever is out of the hole. Maybe I can rig something up with this wire and kite. Okay. Try to fish it out. If I would have bent this wire into the shape of a fish hook and attach it to the kite string, I thought, then maybe I'd be able to brighten up, uh, brighten up, bring up whatever is down there, provided it wasn't too heavy. Well, it's not, well, it's not actually a professional grade fishing hook, but here goes nothing. Hey, got it. Not, not a lot of resistance either. It must be, it mustn't all, uh, it mustn't be all that heavy. 
I quickly but carefully pulled in the line. Damn. Whatever it was, it just fell off the hook before I could. <laughs> it's like when you drop your phone and, you, and it's on your charger and you're like, okay, got to pull it up carefully. And then it falls anyways. And you're like, fuck. You get so mad because you're so lazy. Guess I didn't bend it tightly enough. Maybe it would be. My dog just switched the channel to ESPN. <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> you stop that. I don't like sports. I'm not sports ball. I would like to know more about sports, though, even though I don't like them that much. Maybe it would be quicker to lower myself down to the hole after... Oh, hell no, don't do that. They'll also be far more reckless. I'm just not sure what to do. No, try fishing out again. Fuck you, I'm not going in that hole. Are you crazy? A safer alternative is usually the better alternative, even if it's a general annoyance. So let's give it one more go. All right, got it again. I have, to, uh, I have to be much gentler about it this time. I began pulling up the line slowly and steadily, trying my hardest not to shake it any more than I had to. Oh, I got it. Finally, I pulled out... Is this Naomi's ID card? That's oh, a student ID book from Kisaraki Academy. Mayu? Oh, it's Mayu. Why does it look like Naomi? <laughs> uh, it's Mayu's. No, did she fall into this pit? Mayu, you there? There was no response. Not a single sound or indication of moving of movement. Maybe she wasn't down there after all. I don't see any any indication of a person down there. Maybe she just dropped her student ID. That would be the best case scenario. Without even realizing it, I found myself gripping my student ID tightly, squeezing it in my hands repeatedly as if to verify its its, ex its existence. When you put those words together, it's hard to say. In succession, it felt like her ID had been entrusted to me. And I absolutely had to give it back to her. It was now my mission. Mayu, I'm worried about you. Have you been injured? No. I mustn't think like that. I have to concentrate on what lies ahead. For now, I'll just consider this proof that Mayu's definitely in here somewhere. And if I look for her long enough, I'm sure we'll meet up again. As I get taken over by the darkening, slowly. Okay. Maybe I can meet up with the Takaji now. What the fuck are you doing? My dog- oh shit. Another earthquake. Get off of my items, you crazy bastard. I love you, dog, but you're like literally leaning on my phone and my remote and everything. Another earthquake. Can this building even survive this kind of abuse? Tachiki's not here. I guess it probably hasn't been an hour. Okay. Oh, back to the Scooby-Doo gang. What the hell is with these earthquakes? I don't know, but in any case, everything seems to have shifted now. All the holes and cracks in the walls and floors have changed position. Pukuroi, I'm scared. Try not to let it get to you. What happened to the nonsense Mitsuki, uh, what, what happened to the no-nonsense Mitsuki, we all know. Hey, Shark, how's it going? <laughs> Had a good day? Had a better day than last? I hope so. Mayu, are you there? Mayu! Huh? Did you just hear somebody screaming? No, I can't say that I did. Come on, Fukuroi. Let's see who it is. Oh, I guess we meet up with the... Got your ass kicked just as hard as this weekend. Damn. Wait, damn it. She's so impulsive. Mitsuki. I'm sorry, you're not hurt, are you? Oh, huh. that's what Mitsuki looks like. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Sorry, didn't see you. <laughs> Ate Breezy. <laughs> he said, my bad, didn't mean to say that. No, I, it was my fault. I wasn't really watching where I was going. There's a girl I just ran into. Oh, wait, what? This, the girl I just ran into was wearing a school uniform I hadn't encountered before. And standing next to her was a boy who had, uh, who had a halfway irritated look on his face, but he offered the girls a hand anyway. He was wearing his school jacket, and she was not, so I couldn't tell for certain, but they definitely came across as classmates, or at least schoolmates. You're from another school, it seems. Are you alone? 
Tsukataro Morishigi, 11th grader at Kisaragi Academy. Well then, we're the same grade. My name is Masato Fukuroi, an 11th grader at Byakudan Senior High, and this is... Mitsuku Yamamoto. Pleased to meet you, Sakutaro. It's real. It's really grandiose name. Oh, trust me, it's grandiose. It's hard to fucking say for me, Sakutaro. It's weird. It doesn't. It doesn't flow right for me for some reason. It's not as strong as Jotaro. Ooh, Jotaro. It's a real grandiose name. It's like something out of a classic Japanese literature. Yes, I've been teased about it all my life. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I actually think it's pretty cool. Mitsuki, you mustn't say such boorish things to the first, uh, the first time you meet someone. You'll cause problems for Morishigi. No, it's all right. Something wrong, Morishigi? Hmm? Well, you just seem kind of, I don't know, down? Though I guess if you were all bright and cheery in a place like this, it would be kind of disturbing. Oh, no. I assure you, I'm fine. I'm just searching for someone, that's all. Oh, you too? We also got separated from our friends, and have been looking all over for him. Who is it that you're looking for? A classmate of Mai. Mai Yushizumoto is her name. She's small in stature, but her personality can light up a room. Alright, this is her here. Suddenly remembering that I had finished- uh, that I fished her student ID out of that pit, I withdrew it from my pocket and showed it to the two students. Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't seen her. How about you, Mitsuki? Same here. Sorry we can't- Sorry we can't be more help. It's quite alright. The student ID proves to me that she's here somewhere. I'll find her on my own. By yourself? Isn't that dangerous? You're welcome to join us if you like. We're searching the school as well. After all, we can help you look for Suzumoto- We can help you look for the Suzumoto girl along the way. Well, now that I'm at a loss, if there were- If it were Mochita and the others, I would- It would be one thing. But these are two total strangers. They seem like nice enough people, though. This Fukuroi in particular seems to have a good head on his shoulders, and they don't come off as obnoxious. Refusing would present problems all on its own, too. Okay, then. Let's work together. So, what do we do from here? We not die. How about that? I have a feeling that Morshigi's totally gonna stab both these people in the back. He's probably gonna kill them. I feel like he's gonna kill them. <laughs> All right. So right off the bat, Shangri-La is definitely a longer chapter than uh, than Purgatory was. Okay, so I guess we can head to the locker room. Maybe the superintendent building, or we can check upstairs and see if the if the third floor has opened up yet. Hmm. Or we can check if Tachki's there, but I highly doubt that he would be there. He probably died by now. Yeah, Tachki's not here. Yeah, I expected that. Let's head to the locker room. It's the closest. It's awfully dark down this way. It's really cold, too. It feels like there's cold water wrapped around my entire body. Continuing down this hall may be dangerous. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'll heed your warning for now. Both faces were staring directly at me as if I had somehow designed their de facto leader. So after a moment's thought, I suggested we turn back. I didn't much care either way, but they obviously did, so it seemed the best course of action at the time. They say, you sure you want to go in there? That looks, looks like we can die. Phew, thank God. You might not want to, you might want to not thank him yet. We haven't gotten out, we haven't gotten out of this alive, you know what I mean? We can try the superintendent's building. Hmm. I bet this will still be locked, but you know. Wait, does that mean I have, uh, I have the stuff that they have now in my inventory? Yes, it does. Okay, wind-up key, small, small key, wire, 
Hmm. What can I use the matches on? Doors frozen in place. Got it. Okay. Well, stationary things. I had to inspect nothing in this room, anyways. Did this unlock itself? I lost my voice there for a moment. What the hell is that about? <clears throat> It's locked up tight. Got it. All right, well. Let's try heading back upstairs. Maybe the nurse's room or the, labor or the lab have opened up. frozen in place. What about the lab? Frozen in place. Okay. The hole that was here previously seems to have completely vanished. There's no longer anything preventing you from crossing. Thank God. See, now we can thank him. <laughs> now we can thank him. Boys room and the girls room. All right. I say. Ooh, what room should we check out first? The entrance to the boys room is quite it's quite thoroughly boarded up. Okay, guess we're heading to the girls room. <laughs> girls room. There's a dead body there. And a memo. There's something under her body. Looks like his class logbook. Oh, shit. I'm saving this. They might put me under a timer or something. That ghost sees me with that book. It's over. Wow, Morshigi. I'm kind of impressed. I don't think I can bring myself to touch a dead body like that. He's trying to find his friend, so I doubt he'll let something as simple as that stand in his way. Having been lodged under a decaying corpse, uh, the logbook has seen better days. His pages have been wrapped and stained with blood and other fluids. The class designation is 3A, still faintly visible on the cover. However, uh, however, and there are sections that seem to have escaped the leaking intact. What? Which section should we read? Pool opening, disaster drills, memorial service. Let's check the pool opening. 7-1, pool opening. The pool was finally open today. Everybody put their uh, everybody put their bathing suits on and went for a swim, after some stretches and such. The water was so cold and everybody was really having a great time together. Until somebody slipped and fell and hurt themselves really badly anyways. Cracked his skull and suffered brain damage. Oh, fuck. Seems he can't talk like he could before and can't even feed himself anymore. Damn. Disaster drills. There's a missing letter and numbers all over this page. Many of them seem to have been intentionally erased. 2A. Oh, God. It's summer? I guess it's summer vacation time or something? Summer vacay time or something? But I have school today. At least... Four students forgot their disaster hoods. Okay. That's a bigger number than it should be. Maybe 14. The teachers got really mad at them. After an announcement, we had to go under our desk. And we have to move around. Had to move around. Hmm. What word would go there? 
starts with a O. Had to move around, wearing guard, disaster hoods, I guess, to see how they feel. Or felt. Move around. Huh. So hot, though. Did the pri- did the prize really- oh, did the principal really have to make such a long speech? 30 minutes? Some people even fainted. I'm gonna assume that's 30 minutes, or 13. Or- or 23, or something. Then we heard the... second announcement? The four- <sighs> Something announcement. Hmm. Something with a two. Okay. We went back to class, and we ate our emergency rations. There were 12 students unaccounted for. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's 12. It looks like 12 will fit there. So we split up and search for them. Okay. Well. I'm gonna be right back, because I have to use the bathroom. So, give me one moment, please.
Okay. We are back. Thank you for bearing with that. I had to use the bathroom and then since I was getting up, I was like, might as well let the dogs go out too. So hopefully all my dogs are fine. I know I am. After that bathroom break. All right. What else we have? Memorial service. Today was a memorial service for the three children who were murdered. We all sang for Kano, uh, Yoshizawa, and Suji. There were lots of mean comments from parents while the principal was speaking. They told them to go to hell and take responsibility and stuff like that. But if we told our principal to go to hell, our parents would scold us. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's the logbook. Maybe the best to take this logbook with us. Maybe the best to return it to the class. I'm gonna return it to the classroom because I don't want to get cursed by no spooky bookies. That's the last thing I want to do. All right, so what room was it? Was it 3A? And I think I put it in the shelf, right? Don't attack me, ghost. I got your book. Turn the log book. I, I have it for you. I have it for you. As you approach the teacher's podium, strange letters become visible on the surface, almost as if they were embossed into it. Bring back the class logbook you took from the reference room right this instant. There's no telling what's going to happen next. You understand that, don't you? Put it down! Here's the logbook. I, I, where the hell do I go to give it to you? I have it. I'm trying to give it to you, you won't let me. I feel like I can't leave this room without giving the logbook back, and I don't want to. I don't want to die. Uh. I'm trying to give you the logbook, man. I really am. Can I not? I really can't just like place it on the podium. I feel like if I try to leave this room, I'm gonna die. Seems to be school letters of some sort. Disaster training day. To prevent accidents, always be aware of your surroundings. Look before you act. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw. Okay, never mind. All right, well, uh, guess I spelled my doom. Oh, you just gonna let me out the room like that? You just gonna let me walk out like that? Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. That's cool. No, man, that's cool. That's fine. It's not weird at all. Is the hole covered up over here? The hole that was here previously. Okay, cool. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can I not, like, head to my inventory, take, like, the candles, like, maybe put it over the book pages and see if, like, some letters come on or something? The ref room? Oh, shit. I guess that's where I gotta return the book to? Okay. The bathroom door is locked. What about this? It's a comparatively fresh corpse. Based on the uniform and height, it seems to be that of a junior high school girl. Her limbs are contorted, as if she died clinging to the ground like a frightened insect. On further inspection, this seems to be indi ind indicative of her injuries 
as it looks like some rep uh, someone repeatedly bashed her feet and hands into the floor. With all the blood, it seems likely that whoever did this to her did it while she was still alive. How very cruel. It looks like as if she collapsed here, perhaps with an injury leg or f injury, perhaps with an injured leg or foot. I assume she was being pursued, and her legs were crushed as she tried to hobble away, quite thoroughly, too, as the bones are practically liquefied. The attacker then seemed to have crushed her arms after the intense pain caused her to stop resisting. Because of death, uh, because of the death was wait what? Oh, cause of death was shock from loss of bo uh, loss of blood, perhaps. A pitiful and rather agonizing way to die. I wouldn't be surprised if she spoiled herself. Looking closely at the girl's face, something seemed off. It didn't take long for me to realize it was, uh, what it was. She had no tongue. Did someone cut out, uh, cut it out her mouth? I heard that psychopathic murderers do often take mementos for their victims, but why tongues? What does it symbolize? More to the point, whoever did this is probably still at large. I'm getting more and more worried about Mayu. I love how he's sitting here inspecting the body and he has like two other people with him and they're just like, yep, he's doing his freaky shit. Nothing over here, huh? Okay. That's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's never fine. It's nothing's fine. Just keep telling yourself everything's going to be okay. Was there no item near you? Let's see. Nope. What about this door? It's locked. Let's see if we can figure this out. The first number is... Oh. Two. Second number is five. Third number is four. Fourth number is... Three. Fifth number is... Two. The final number is two. That doesn't seem to be the right combination. <laughs> I bet the answer lies in the logbook. Yeah, 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 I get it. I know. Once we get the door open, sure. The lots open some kind of... Okay. I got it. I got it. I know. Disaster drills. All right. <clears throat> Remember this for me, guys. Eight and two might count. Okay, let's see. We have four. Four, three, two, two. That's not enough numbers. That's not enough numbers. Unless the eight and two count, right? Eight. Two, four, three, two, two. Got it! I'm a fucking genius. All right. The door has been successfully unlocked. Well, then walk the fuck in. What's stopping you? Hmm. Interesting. Books. The shelf is full full of science books for young children, illustrated encyclopedias, biographies, and important people. What? Oh, bi biographies of important people and other educational materials. Book ending. One particular gap on the shelf is this is a ceramic or ornament depicting some kind of demon eating the left arm of a naked headless figure. Oh God. What a frightening image. Is it? It's generally disturbing, but well made, I admit. Francesco de Goya. San, uh, Santaro. I'm not. Is that Latin? I'm not doing it. <laughs> I believe it's called uh, Saturn Devouring His Son. Oh. Okay. You're quite well versed in art history, it seems. Are you in your school's art club or something, Morshiki? No, I'm in the drama club. Wow, impressive. How is that impressive? I'll bet he's respond to that same way if I said I were in the ba basketball club or wood or woodwind band too. The room fell into an awkward silence after that. 
I became actually aware of my own poor disposition. Though, I suppose I'd never been very good at social interactions in the first place. I don't believe in wasting smiles on trivial things, and I never quite learned how to lie, even to save face or keep from, keep from hurting someone's feelings. Hmm, so I heard practice can get pretty rough in drama club, is that true? I'm sure there's a lot of variables to consider, setting the stage, costuming, scripting. What fucking... I guess, I guess Japan has a way more vigorous thing than the Americas, because I don't know any goddamn high school that actually cares about staging or costumes and their drama club. <laughs> we don't got... they don't waste their money on that. <laughs> Mayu's in charge of all that. I'm just a lead doctor. A lead, lead doctor? Lead actor. Completely said a word that wasn't even there. Oh, nice. Being as tall and handsome as you are, I'm sure you must be a big hit. No, not especially. It's not the outward appearance that matters, after all, but the acting. So, are you planning on trying trying for the... Um, can't speak. So, are you planning to try out for acting school in the future, then? If possible, I'd like to study abroad and apprentice with real actors. I've been saving money and focusing on language studies to, to, end, to that end for some time. Wow, very nice. It's amazing that you put so much thought into your future plans at this age. I'm grateful for their palitudes. Palitudes? Is that how you say that? I think so. But this is all they are, no? These two can't possibly have any legitimate interest in a word I'm saying. I can't even conceive of... Conceive? I can't even conceive of being this captivated by the life, uh, de by the life details of a person they've only met. they only just met. But then, maybe I'm just over, uh, permac, 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 English. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? No, I don't. I or speak English very good. I gotta take some of my water and <clears throat> clear my throat. My spittle is, like, getting me. Shouldn't we be going? Aside from the skull, uh, from the sculpture, there really doesn't seem to be anything else of note in here. Wait, we should return to the log. Uh, we should return the logbook while we're at, while we're here. True, we really didn't need the logbook anymore. The Goya scripter, a scripter, sculpture. On the other hand, was practically calling my name. I reached out for it, picked it up, and handed it to Mitsuki. Since we had the biggest bag, what? Since she had the biggest bag out of any of us, she looked puzzled, but took it anyways. Oh, it's that thing! Oh! It's that art! This is the, um... <clears throat> this is the, uh, art that, uh... It's like, uh... I guess you can just... Wait, what's the word I'm looking for? Not stock art, but... It's like a... It's like a... It's like, um... I can't think of the word. You know, things that you don't really have to deal with copyright for. Oh, why did it disappear? That was weird. It's, um... It's usually the picture people use when they when you think about uh, layers of fear. It's that picture of, like, the creepy guy eating the fucking hand. That's cool. I like that. All right, so we have the statue now. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with it. We definitely can't go back in this room. <laughs> what room would we need a statue for? Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Well, we returned the book, so... We can head back to 3A, see if anything changes there, because we did return the book. Book's been returned. Oh, this is new. It's a photocopied handout. The class logbook is our memory. After you've all gone on the next grade, I'll make sure I'll take good care of it. Oh, okay. This piece of paper hastily taped onto the glass door. Return the book. Okay. 
CNC School Newsletter. Look before you act. Okay. Won't get mad, just give it back. Let's photocopy handout. Okay, well that's new, but I don't think it's anything worth noting. This is still locked, I assume. Door's frozen. What about nurse's office? <clears throat> Gotta keep clearing my throat for some reason. I guess it's because I'm not that used to talking that much. <laughs> even though the, these streams pretty help me out. Uh, I'm not even speaking English right there. Even though these streams are helping me out, uh, lengthening the ability of my talking, I guess. You know? So my throat doesn't die out. Alright, we can see if Tanshiki's here yet. I highly doubt he would be there. But it's worth a shot. Nope, he's not here. That fucking guy. I'm not gonna trust him. I don't... We can try the super... The super... Uh, the building super again. But... I highly doubt I'll see him. Get that mouse out the way. Uh. Alright. What about the locker room? Maybe they won't be as scared to go in there anymore. Or we can check 4A, see if that unlocked. If they're going to stop me from going in here, then I won't go in there. You guys still scared of the locker room? Yeah, you guys are still scared of the locker room. Okay. We'll turn back. What a bunch of bitches are scared some lockers? Whoa, what was that noise? Crap, I dropped it. Oh, part of it broke off. That's not good. No, it's most absurdly not. Ben and school building or not is something that doesn't belong to you. You really are a stickler for the rules, no matter where we are, huh? Maybe I see that for- may I see that for a moment? Sure, but why? I think I see something inside it, from where it broke off. Oh, hey, you're right. What is that? Isn't it just the wireframe the sculpture- sculpture used for holding object shape? I don't think so. It's not- it's not at all that's in there. Wait, what? It's not all that's in there anyways. I know one way to find out. Oh, you're gonna break the statue, aren't you? Yep, he broke the statue. The Goya sculpture hit the gr uh, Goya sculpture sculpture hit the ground with all the force I could muster and shattered into countless pieces. That's oh, a key. Looked old, but since it's been sealed away from the elements, there wasn't a single trace of rust or corrosion on it. Look, there's a label: Heavenly House Elementary. So I guess this means it. Uh, doesn't even belong in the school building. Clearly, this was an important item to find. Now, now aware of that, Mitsuki's bag was not the safest place to store things, however, I pocketed it myself. Definitely don't want to drop that. That probably lets me open the, the super's room, right? It's the only thing I can think of. Unless we can head up to the lab or the nurse's office. Let's see. Open up. Nope. What about 4A? It's locked up tight. Maybe the copper key opens it. Go ahead. Bingo. 
With a click, the door unlocked. See, now we're thinking with portals. That doesn't look good. Some sort of mechanism with a lever attached to it. What a strange looking device. It's vaguely similar to the movie projector, but clearly not one. The lever won't budge. It may be rusted in place at this point. Okay, so we have to find something to unrust it. Oh, it's alcohol lamp. Looks like it's still got a decent, uh, decent wick and plenty of methanol in it, too. Aren't these handprints on it, though? <sighs> They're in blood. I didn't notice them at first, but Misuki was correct. There's a small, there's a small bloody handprints on the alcohol lamp. All right, small enough that those, uh, small enough that they most likely were made by children or by a child or children. I don't know about you guys, but this lamp gives me creeps. Still, the more light source available to us in there, the better. This wasn't something we we could leave behind. It was really a stroke of luck that we stumbled upon something. Oh, so I have no choice to take it. Okay, so. Well, since we now have a lamp, and you guys bitch about how dark it is in the locker room, let's try going there, then. Or we can bring it to the lab. Maybe the lab needs a lamp. You know, they got, like, Bunsen burners and shit. You guys still scared of this locker room? It's so dark in there. I'll try taking the light in with us, don't you think? So I try lighting the alcohol lamp, then? I'm gonna leave a candle. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a candle. I trust the candle. We have multiple candles, and that lamp is from the devil himself. Leave a candle behind. Hey, it doesn't seem, uh, doesn't something seem off to you? It does feel like we've been walking around for an awfully long time. Does this building always have such an expansive hallway? No, I'm pretty sure something screwy is going on here. With all the distance we've covered, we should have been outside the school twice over now. Maybe we turned the corner without realizing it. It's quite dark, after all. There's no way we could have. Not in a narrow hallway like this. If you're that concerned, shouldn't we just turn back? Yes, let's. And so we turned around, and saw nothing but an endless corridor vanishing into the, uh, inky blackness. It was basically a mirror image of the Turk, of the Turk we've been making. The Turk? Trek? 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 Mm. The Trek we've been making this past few minutes. No, no, this can't be right. Didn't we walk so far that we can't even see the light of our candle in the distance? It's not possible, is it? Calm down, Mitsuki. It probably just blew out. It's a, sh it's a straight shot either way. All we can do is keep heading back the way we came. How can you be so cold, Morishigi? For all you know, we could be... Freaking out about it. Freaking about it is... Uh, freaking out about it isn't gonna help matters. Let's just keep going. Morishigi's right. Times like these call for cold, rational decisions. It's the only way. Oh, thank God, we made it back. Honestly. Okay. Did my darkening increase? Oh, fuck! It sure as hell did! I wonder what it was. Okay, hold up. I have to find out. I have to find out. Because I thought if we left the lamp behind... It would have, like, sig signaled the children to be like, Hey, man, they're down there. Go get them. It would certainly be a lot brighter than a candle. Should burn out longer. Here, I got matches. Found them in the music room earlier. As the wick flared up, the whole hallway was bathed in a warm blue glow. And somehow the darkness just seemed to shine away, f uh, shrink away from it. Powerless against it. Unexpectable, capable, unexpectedly capable opponent. Oh. Well, that was just better overall. Huh. Guess we're going into the locker room then?
This was here before. Emmy. Uh, Urabe. Uh, Urabe. What? That's how, that's how you say your name? Hey, Urabe, stay with us. Collapsed on the ground was someone both... Uh, was someone both of my... Wow. Collapsed on the ground was someone both of my companions clearly knew. We wore... Uh, she wore the same uniform as Yamoto. Both... For, God, these fucking names, man. They're killing me on the inside. Both Fuku, uh, Fuku, ah, God. Both Fukuroi and Yamamoto immediately ran to her side and began attempting to rouse and console her. Thank God you're alive. Are you okay, Rabe? Are you injured at all? And what about the others, Toko and Kazumi? Do you know if they're alright? Uh, no. Frightened out of her mind, the now, the now... God, I can't, I can't read tonight. What's wrong with me? Uh... The now, the now conscious, God, the now conscious schoolgirl slapped away Yamato's outstretched hand and shot, and shot to her feet. Mitsuki, what's wrong, Urabe? Get a hold of yourself, Emmy. It's me, Mitsuki. And Fukuro's here, too. No, 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 no. Get your hands off of me. I have, I have to run. If I don't, he'll catch me. She darted her head around wildly, surveying her surroundings quickly and frantically, like a wild-eyed, like a wild-eyed fawn who sensed the predator closing in. What on earth could happen to her? It was as if her own paranoia had completely drowned out the sounds of her friends and classmates to such an extent that she didn't even notice them. She was also, uh, per God, she was also perceptively shaking, a lot more than she would from the cold rain alone, and her teeth were chattering. Something had truly spooked her. I'm having like a hiccup now. Emmy. We're all gonna die. He's gonna kill us. Emmy, wait! It's not safe to be alone in there. We gotta go after her. What is she... What does she see, I wonder? She must have come in contact with death itself to react so strongly. Perhaps a murderer on the loose. Maybe I should join them in their chase, but I have no responsibility here. It isn't my fight. They did accompany in my search for Mayu, so I'd like to do something for them in exchange. But things seem in disarray right now, and I prefer not to get caught up in their mess. I'll resume the search for Mayu on my own. Solo acts have always suited me best, after all. What an asshole! But it's probably better. It's probably better. They probably ran directly into death. Oh, I miss you so. More than you can know. Tell me where, where did you go? Mayu? That was Mayu's voice, I'm certain of it. Mayu, where are you? Mayu, answer me, please. Mayu! Look, there's a walkway to another building. Let's go, okay? Nana, it's probably over there somewhere. My name is Nari Yama. Oh God, my name is Nari Yamatoya. I am a seventh grader in in Misa. God, Misa Shigawa's Girls Middle School, Class One Six. Nana is a friend I've since I was a little girl. Her name is Nana o Ogasawa. O Osagawa. I said God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose myself. She's been with me up until just recently, when we randomly gotten ourselves separated in these halls. I did, st uh, I did still have another companion with me, but, well, she wasn't really someone I could count on. Like, at all. Jihaya? Wait, Nari, my feet are tired. <sighs> That's how it always been with her. I lost count how many, how many things she found to whine about in this place. This was Jihaya Yam uh, Yamase. Yamase? A fellow member of the drama club. Never satisfied, but never willing to do anything about it. Drama fit her to a T. If Nana were with us, I'm pretty sure she'd give the Chiaya's wine again and insist we take a break. But I'm not Nana, and I won't be guilted so easily. Then have a seat. I'll go on without you. No! But you're too tired to walk, aren't you? I can walk. It really was just like leading a child around. She was, she was as spoiled as can be. I truly felt it wasn't possible for any human being to be more spoiled than Shihaya. 
But it's not like I could really leave her behind, you know? She'd be dead in no time flat, as helpless as she was. Yeah. What the hell? That's dangerous, you know? The ground is slippery here. You can't jump into me like that. But the thunder... You know, thunder isn't actually a rare and mysterious danger or anything. It certainly is nothing to get worked up about. Do you jump and grab on the people's shoulders when it thunders at home or at school, too? Uh-huh. If not as round, it's usually her. So I'm supposed to be her proxy, then? Nari, are you mad? Not especially. Let's just go, okay? I'm sure you'd rather grab onto the real Nana rather than settling for a poor substitute like me, right? Uh-huh. Seriously? You're just gonna agree with that? <laughs> yeah, like, for real? She's like, yeah, you are a sucky substitute. This building seems a lot more run down than the other one. My head kind of hurts. I'll give you that one. I guess this is what they mean when they say the air feels heavy. We shouldn't stay in here for long, for longer than we have to. I wonder if Nana's really in here. Well, all we can do is look for her. I'm sure she's doing the same right now, so we're bound to run into each other sooner or later. How soon do you think? Maybe Nana is, real is already... Again with the crap? Just stop, okay? But, don't cry, damn it. I'm scared too, you know. I told myself that I was going to, that I was going to find Nana in this second building. Come hell or high water, failure was not an option. Oh my god, we're controlling another character? Holy shit. How long is this chapter? I think this might be the longest chapter by far. Okay. God damn it, Shangri-La. Alright, let's see. Uh, There's the music room, staff room. We can try the staff room. Will I even be able to finish this chapter by tonight? I don't I don't think so. There's a large hole in the floor blocking the way through the hall. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to finish this tonight. Usually we'd be able to finish at least one chapter, but Huh. What's in here? Nothing I can really check besides the piano. Oh fuck! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. What the hell? Sorry, I accidentally dropped my pouch on the piano. Fuck you, Chahaya! Jeez, don't scare me like that. God! That scared me. It was so sudden. The boys' room. Okay. We got this spirit here. How's it going? Do you know what lies beneath this? Okay, you're just gonna say the same shit. Gotcha. Let's keep it moving. The girls' room, art room, and ref room. Let's head to. Let's check the girls' room out. Hmm. There's no indication of anyone occupying any of the stalls yet. Everyone seems to be locked. Every one of them seems to be locked. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Nothing in the girls' room. Ref room. Oops, wrong button. This is interesting, though. I definitely remember these characters. They're in the first extra scene in the first game. The dull, gloomy corridor suddenly lit up brightly for just a moment. And in that moment, something became visible. You mean something became visible? Oh. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. There, glinting in the dim light, appeared to be a, com a component of some sort of electronic device. In contrast with everything else in this school, it seems like a fairly recent item, a decade old at most, but likely much newer. What do you suppose this is? I'm not really sure, but it kind of looks like a battery, maybe. Hmm, maybe somebody bought a beefed-up phone or a game system in here. Might as well take it with us, I figured. 
though, if I gave it to Shahaya for safekeeping, it would no doubt wind up on the ground again somewhere, so I decided to just put it in my pocket. I totally do not trust you. <laughs> to the ref room. The door's locked. Got it. Cool. That means less work I have to do. Don't see me complaining. Alright. What could be in the art room? Check this cabinet. Inside the cabinet is blood red throughout, as if someone uh, very carefully painted it that way. Actually, wait. Isn't there a tube of red paint inside? It looks, un it looks unopened. In fact, it looks completely untouched. It's not even a slight indication that someone has so much as moved the tube of paint in years. Which means the red coloring must be... Blood. What's that smell? It is blood. The entire cabin is covered from corner to corner with realistic scale drawings of flies. Thousands upon thousands of them. I don't think that's a drawing. I think that's real. Canvas is blank. Or it might be anyways. There seems to be a faint, almost imperceptible stain across it. Roughly in the shape of a human torso. But it might just be the lighting. Nothing here partic is particularly useful. Okay. That was interesting. Guess there's nothing in the art room for me, really. Okay. Check out the mu- Oh, wait, no. We did check out the music room. Wait, did I just- Did I just go backwards? Girls room for- Oh, no, I went in a circle. Okay. Well, I have a battery now, so... Let me see. There's the music room, staff room, there's a hole here. Um, the boys room was just locked off. I can check that cubby in, uh, in the exit. Maybe there's something I can grab in there. On the other side of the hole, there was now a man collapsed on the ground. I couldn't see any obvious wounds on him, but he wasn't moving at all. It was hard to, as uh, to ascertain details in this dim light. But he seemed a bit too big to be in the middle, be a middle schooler or high schooler. He wasn't wearing a uniform. Who's that? Seems a bit too old to be a student. Is he dead? I don't know. All I know is he wasn't there before. I don't know. Are you alright? Don't call to him. Are you injured, maybe? Still no response. Maybe we should chuck something over there. Maybe that would be a bad idea. Nari, look. This wasn't lying on the floor over there. A camera. I wonder if it's his. Oh, wait, is that Tachiki? It was it was fairly expensive looking DV camcorder. And a well-worn one at that. With digs and chips all over it. Nonetheless, it looked like it was probably still worked. Huh? What is it this time? Mayu, where have you gotten yourself off to? Mayu, I swear I heard your voice just a moment ago. You can't be far. You were singing about missing me. Are you okay? Have you been injured? Are you afraid? Are you lonely? Damn it, Tachiki. What the hell's keeping you? It's been well over an hour. I'm waiting for- I'm waiting for- to ex wow. I'm waiting here to exchange my information with you, when I could be out there searching. Damn it. God damn it. Why has it come to this? Mayu. I don't care about anyone else, I just wanted you to be safe. Just you, and I will be happy. The hell are you looking at? My agitated state, I kicked a pair of hallway slippers that was sitting on the ground nearby and then flew right into the dead girl's face. She wasn't there before! <laughs> what are you doing sitting in a place like this anyways? You're dead. You're not worthy of such an honored seat. You're an eyesore. Hmm? What's that look? You think I'm strange? What gives you the right, you goddamn stiff? I grabbed her jaw and began shaking around and... As, what? And was a bit startled by the sensation. It felt just like I was touching living flesh. Yeah, cause she wasn't there before, you fucking freak. Even I can tell she wasn't there before. Except this person was very, very cold. 
Cold as a statue. A statue covered in skin and muscle, but a statue nonetheless. What am I doing? Have I lost my mind? Why else would I be venting my anger on a dead body? I'm terribly sorry. I see now that your eyes have been sliced up. So you really weren't looking at anything, were you? <laughs> What's wrong? Kick out your tongue? If I asked you this a few days ago, I have no doubt you'd be able to voice your objections and slap me right in the face, Miss... Ar 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 Arisa Kaida? Pity. Get it together, Sukataro. If you keep this up, you'll never find Mayu. Besides, this poor girl is an unfortunate victim. She's done nothing wrong. Want to know a secret, Kaida? You're quite the looker right now, but you're just gonna rot. You're just gonna rot from here on out. Just rot and rot. You'll rot until your flesh gets all soft and mushy like soup. Your skin starts to stretch and sag, and your eyeballs spill out from your like uh, wow from your head like raw eggs. The smell you produce will be fouler than any toiler, toiler than any toilet in every part of you. Your face, your mouth, your bowels will become maggot chow. <laughs> but before that happens, yes, let's preserve that beautiful form of yours, shall we? I flip my cell phone back and switch to the camera mode, Sir, uh, centering the lens on the lovely Miss Kaida. <laughs> it suddenly took a weird turn, definitely. Her slash and broken gaze was focused ahead of her at a downward facing angle, yet in contrast to these injuries, she wore a peaceful expression on her face. Almost as if she was posing for me. Just waiting for me to hit the shutter button. What a lovely visage. This will make a splendid picture. Superb! Have you ever heard of the French film called Un Chira Wow, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna fucking attempt that. You remind me so much of it right now. <laughs> Might I take another? <laughs> you may just be more charming now than you were when you were alive. Hmm, yes. I think you must be. I mean, just look at your face. The line formed by those stiffened cheekbones. I'm sorry, but it's just so erotic. And those cuts on your wrist. I tried poking her wound with my finger and heard a moist, squishy sound as my finger was swallowed up. She gone cold, but I guess there was still some blood left in her. Either that or decompose, uh, decomposition was already well underway. I pushed further in, digging my finger through the gaps between her muscles until it struck something smooth and hard. Hmm. I've struck bone. This vicious chills... What? This vicious chills bellies the steadfast strength of the marrow within. It's almost sensual. As I drew my face into her forehead, wait, what? As I drew my face into her forehead, a few particles of perfume scented the foul odor of sweet and sub, and sip, sabum, I can't say that word, fuck you. <laughs> that had hard, hard for what? Heretofore? Oh god, that had heretofore been ass, assault, wow, assaulting my nostrils. Sealed in a place like this, unable even to wash your hair. But you still found the time and energy to groom. How delightful. And yet, the smell of death and blood suits you so much better. So much better. I... What the hell have I been doing? I have been taking pictures of corpses. I suppose they do say stress is the real killer in situations like this. So anything I can do... <laughs> Anything I can do to relieve my built-up stress <laughs> isn't so bad. Yes, it's all just happenstance. There's happened to be corpses in here, so I... Come to think of it, Tachiki was taking footage of corpses in here as well, and he said he was doing it so he could file a police report. Hey, Lee, how's it going? How has your day been? One hour has long since come and gone. Perhaps it's time I search for him as well. It's entirely possible that he's met with Mayu and is accompanying her, after all, in which case, standing around here will, accomp will accomplish nothing. And there's nothing wrong with it. I hope so. hope it stays that way. 
Amidst the darkness of the corridors, I spotted human figures, living ones this time. Two of them. Both female and both much younger than I. I approached them without making a noise or saying a single word to announce myself. <laughs> His place corporation is going to be great. Oh, man. This is a pretty long chapter. Not going to lie. Uh, what is it this time? Junior high, I'd guess. Maybe 12 or 13 years old. One was clearly much more fear-prone than the other, as she wrapped herself around her companion's arm and was actively trying to hide behind herself. She was looking in my general direction, but with the light as dim as it was, I had no idea whether or not she could see me. And while finding survivors in the land of the dead was a rare occurrence indeed, my focus was squarely on the man sprawled out further down the hall. He was unconscious, possibly worse, and in an, un an uncrossable gap separated us, but I definitely recognized him. It was Tachiki. Or Tagachi, however you pronounce his name. <laughs> um... Is Mr. Tachiki dead? Was I concerned about him? Did I feel for him? Honestly, no. I felt nothing whatsoever at the moment. I was simply asking because I was curious. I'm normally calm and stoic, but... I'm normally, I'm normally calm and stoic, sure, but this seems even cold by my standards. Did I really not care, one way or another, if he was dead? Hey, you know that guy? No, not really. But you just said a name, didn't you? Here, I think this belongs to him. Give it a look. The girl handed me a beat-up DV camera. No doubt about it, this was the same one Tatsuki had been looking into when I met him earlier. I took it without a word and immediately, immediately tried to turn it on, but to no avail, it had no power. Battery's dead. Doesn't seem like it'll be much of use anymore. I think we found its battery pack on the ground too. Here, try it out. Alright. The hell is his problem? Okay, he says. What kind of social reject accepts a stranger's kindness like that? Not that I need to not that I need thanks or anything, but still. Nari. Don't worry, he's not even listening. I placed the battery pack into the DV camera and immediately saw the red power light pop on. Still fully functional, by all appearances. Now I can check over the footage he's collected. So what are you two doing here? Huh? Um, well. We're looking for our friends. Naga Okasawa. Uh, Okasawara, uh, Okasawara, where the fuck can't say the goddamn name? So many vowels. And Hikari, and Hikari Kirigami, Kirigami. Fellow students from, God damn it, Musa, Musashi Gawa High, and some other from our senior high. Her name's Nari, uh, Nari Yama, uh, fuck, Nari Yamatoya, and this is Chihaya Yamase, Yamase, fuck. Killing me on the inside here. I see middle schoolers then. <laughs> the little of uh, the little of you two remains reminds me of Mochita's sister. Huh? <laughs> I met Nana. Yeah, I know. I met these two. These two I definitely remember. They were in the extras for the first game. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a senior high student, right? I'm looking for someone too. Her name's Mayu Suzumoto. Have you have either of you? Wow. Have either of you seen her? You know, it's proper manners to introduce yourself before you start asking questions. Well, I'm terribly sorry. I'm, Sukata I'm Sukataru Morishige. I'm a love grader at Kizaraki Academy High School. Hmm. I think in the extras, they had their friend with them, right? And then, uh... Wasn't that the one where it just, like, ended with them, uh... Getting the hat for the gentleman ghost? <laughs> Back to my question, then. Have either of you seen Mayu? I have a picture of her here. I flipped open Mayu's student ID to its photo page, almost as if I was a sheriff flashing my badge, but the response from these two were not encouraging. They exchanged a quick glance with one another, then shook their heads. I don't think either of us have seen her now. I see. That's alright. There may be some clues as to her whereabouts in this camera. <laughs> yeah, the hats and glasses of the gentleman ghost. The same ghost were like, I believe in the first chapter, if you open uh, the stall, he's all like, Get the hell out of here! <laughs> People keep opening the bathroom on me. It scares me. She's in the second chapter of this game. 
The second chapter was focused on Mayu. Yeah? Was that Nana? I thought that was someone else. I thought that was the same girl that... I can't remember her name. But I th it seemed like it was the same girl they had in the Purgatory chapter where Sayaka saw someone get killed. And I was looking at the, uh, the CGs for that. Um... And they didn't show her face, but, you know, they showed, like, the back of her head, and she has, like, her ribbons and stuff. So, that's the only girl I remember, the one that uh, Mayu met up with. Nana, I'm trying to remember when... That was Nana? You sure? Because she was blonde. <laughs> she was blonde. Nana just turned blonde. <laughs> Isn't Nana the one? Oh, wait, no, my bad. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm getting Nana confused with Chihaya. You're right. You're 100% right. These names. There's so many names they're throwing at me all at once that I can't remember them all. All right. I rewound the tape a bit, and I put the camera in playback mode. Immediately, horrifying imagery began displaying on the device Tiny's LCD screen. Audio was irrelevant. It seemed like the only... The only sounds of the tape were those of Tachiki's ragged, ragged breathing and footsteps, and his occasional self-mutterings. 90% of the video footage, then constant of, wait, what? 90% of the video footage then consisted of dead bodies, while the t remaining 10% was mostly just the camera autofocusing in dim light. Each body was shot from a variety of angles, so their cause of death could be easily determined. Guess he really was planning on showing this to the police. The hell is this? It's nothing but dead bodies. Get it away! I don't want to see that. Hey, you might not want to see it, but more Shiggy's, he's like, going crazy right now. <laughs> the two nosy girls were peeking into the video's contents over my shoulder, and neither of them seemed quite, uh, certain, uh, wow. Neither of them seemed certain quite how to react. Certain quite how to react. Aren't those, isn't that a typo? Shouldn't that be, like, rearranged? Quite certain how to react? Whatever. Hmm, amazing. He really did, didn't he really did a nice job with these. So many bodies I haven't seen yet. So many. They're like I can't even say that fucking name. Sea sea shells? Paintings, they're so beautiful. In the second chapter you meet Nana, she's searching for Nari. Okay. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're right about that, yes. So one like the thing that I noticed is uh with that is um I'm assuming now I'm I'm not looking for any answers but I'm assuming that uh Naho and Sayaka went into the I'm assuming they I'm assuming it had to be at least like a month or two before like Mochita and his friends went into it after Naho and Saki and Sayaka went into it because when they were going into it she uh she put in the post out that um, Suzumoto finds in the, not Suzumoto, um, Shinozaki finds in the first game, but like a whole day or something would have to pass for that. But somehow they still run into each other. It's really, it's really like confusing. Maya keeps finding bodies in these uniforms and name tags, these girls. For example, Chiai's body has holy water on her. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, yeah, she does find her, and she doesn't, she doesn't tell, um, she doesn't tell Nana that she found her. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. Still, his techniques could be better. He doesn't... Uh, he, he does little to catch the viewer's eyes. There's too much restraint, too much distance. If it were me... Nari. Okay. Hmm? What's the matter? Why exactly are you laughing? <laughs> laughing? Am I laughing? Yes, you're smiling and laughing like you're having a grand, grand old time. Well, that's <laughs> that's rather odd, isn't it? Nari, let's. Okay, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. We getting out of here. <laughs> Going? Where exactly? Well, we were in the middle of searching for our friends. What's your rush? Maybe there's something I can do to help. That's quite all right. We'll handle it on our own. <laughs> Goodbye now. <laughs> I think they must have been a mis. I think there must have been a misunderstanding. Maybe they thought I was some kind of pervert. Well, that's fine by me. It would be a pain in the ass to change their minds anyways. Besides, that was a rather fascinating reaction. I think I'll leave the camera here. It's Tachiki's eyes, after all. 
No one else could possibly, f no one else can possibly feel what he felt from anything he caught on it. I want to keep taking in these surroundings with my own eyes, to keep feeling what the school has to offer in my own personal way. I want my own collection, or I suppose, I just want to possess the dead. I want to make them all mine. Wait, what am I thinking? I should be searching for Mayu right now. These photos are just for stress relief. If I lost myself to despair before finding Mayu, she could be gone forever, and I mustn't let that happen. Let's see. The first ritual, entering the holy ground. Okay. Till the last day, but it's not a whole month. Keep in mind that there's almost nothing to eat and drink in the school. No, um, it's fine. It's fine. You can keep you can keep giving me little tidbits like that. That's great. I don't I don't think like when I mean like a whole month, I mean like okay. So they say like the this is just all theory, craft. It will probably be all told to me in like the future or something. But they say that Heavenly Host is in a different place of time and space or whatever, right? So in the real world, right? Let's say, let's say even though Naho and Sayaka went in like a month ahead of time or something, like to them, they've only been in here for a couple of hours and then Mochita and his game, gang go in and then they enter that space and it's still the same flow of time. Even though they're all like different locations, they all probably have the same flow of time. Know what I mean? So the time is the same in the school, but not the locations. And once you get out of the school, you're back to where you left off. At least that's the feeling I get, because I find it kind of weird that like, there has to be a time gap for like, all these kids going in because it can't just all happen in, like, a day or two. There's too many people in here. <laughs> uh, yes, this is all just one step in the long process of finding her, and, I'll certainly, and I certainly can't be mixing up a single step with my end goal. But I want to see more. Damn, how is your darkening looking, my guy? 44? Oh, it actually went down. Oh, wait, no. My bad. I reloaded. That's what happened. Because I fucked up with that lamp. And it brought me up to like 62. Alright, well... Wait, can I not? I can't open the map. Okay. There's a big hole in the floor. But who cares about a hole? Tatsuki's completely motionless. It's impossible to tell from here if he's dead. Though, or simply... Uh, if he's dead, though, or simply conscious. Unconscious, my bad. Another earthquake? After bracing myself for an intermediate amount of time, the earthquake finally subsided. Keep in mind, Naho's famous. Her blog post of the game is a tweet from... True, she is famous. There's that. But... There still has to be some sort of time to circulate, like maybe a day or so. Right? At least I would assume... Because, uh, because she puts that, uh, she puts that notice out at night. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, Suzumoto could be, uh, no, I keep saying Suzumoto. Shinazaki could just be, like, checking her phone periodically through the day because she's into that occult shit. <laughs> but then what about all the other characters? They all just show up at once. It's so crazy. There has to be something. There has to be. There's a candle shimmering here, along with a note. Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Fuck, man. Fuck you. What happens if I do? You can't do this to me. My, curi my curiosity. Alright, I won't look back. I won't look back. S stay back. What's wrong? Where's, where's Fukuroi? Shut the hell up, I told you to stay back. You, you're in leagues with him, aren't you? You seem confused. What happened, Yamamoto? Ow! Don't touch me! There's blood on your hands. You, you really are. You really are. You're mistaken. This is from examining a dead body earlier. It's just as I thought, then. How can you be so cavalier about touching corpses? 
You're not. You're not right. Mm, there's no getting through to her like this. Okay, so I guess this is what led her to, like, run around in the fucking school in the first game. Because I remember Mochita runs across runs across her. At least I think it's Mochita. And she's like, get away from me! I won't be fooled. I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. She certainly is in a mood. Living humans are so irredeemably noisy. People need to understand the value of silence. Yamamoto. Hmm. Gone already, is she? What is this clicking noise I'm hearing in my ear? I should find some place to click myself. That's right. I can always go back there. I almost forgot about taping the production of the Barber of, of Seville. I had to make sure I get home in time. And here I was again. I pressed the button on my phone to shut off the second alarm it's, I set. It explains a lot in extra chapters. For example, Byakuda High School has an occult nerd too. Okay. Because I, I played some of the extras, but I didn't have a chance to play all of them yet. Um, the first game has some posts where it's really some of the pawn fun good luck charm. I think about it, it's like a hundred name tags in the first game. Okay. A hundred people for a ride there possible. It's all theories. Okay, there's not a book explaining this timeline. Alright. But that, that would make a lot of sense why there's so many people there at one point. Right? I just like, I just want... Yeah, even when it takes time for like circulation of like a post or something. Even when you have that many people, there are definitely people bound to be there like second one. So. I, I definitely can see that. If this time display was accurate, then there was no chance of making it home in time to record the show for Mayu. I'll have to apologize to her later. I slipped my finger naturally, almost automatically, from shuttering, uh, from shutting off the alarm to opening my folder of saved photos. There was no sound in the room other than the tone of my button presses, and virtually no light other than that which shone from the LCD screen. Or, so it seemed, anyways. Yet, this was my rock. In this place, I found truly, I could truly relax. Here and here alone, I felt at peace. Hmm. The canon indeed is that it's played as BMG here. What if? Walking everyone, it looks good. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, a lot of horror, a lot of horror movies and like, a lot of horror movies, games and like, uh, narratives tend to, tend to put a lot of like classical music, um, uh, in their works. Because it, it finds a way to like, to eerily and creepily add beauty to death. Right? If you ever seen, um, there's a manga series and I, there's a manga series and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, there's a manga series about like samurai and shit and like the illustrations of like, of like fucking blood and gore and shit. It's all has like a certain artistry to it. It's all like very beautiful and shit. To the point where the creator recently, I believe like last month or so, came out and he was all like, hey, the list, the reason why I haven't been doing this series anymore is because I can't handle it. He's like, I put so much emotion into it that like it's fucking me up. Uh, let's see, the air was filled with the overpowering aroma of blood and entrails. It would be enough to make most people vomit, but for me, it was a smell to savor. I'd even described it as comforting comforting. Perhaps it's because it reminded me that I was in her presence. She who decorated the walls like a flower in full bloom. When I sat across from her, I felt more at ease than I can possibly convey in words. So he's definitely staring at Mayu right now. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Mayu. It was as if she always been here for me. As if she was waiting for me. And sure enough, whenever I felt weary or needed respite, the door to this infirmary would always open for me despite its tendency to be to the contrary. Each time it did, too, I would always be drawn in as if the room was swallowing me up, and my eyes would always happen upon this offering first. This girl upon the wall, slowly drying and slowly rotting, would always be there to greet me, and never once did I tire of the sight. 
I sure taken a lot. So many photos of the dead. I began taking, I began talking to myself, or maybe I was talking to her. Within my phone's memory were stored, uh, were stored some of men's most sensuals, most voluptuous object darts. Uh, darts? The arts? Hmm. And she was the tip of the brush, the grand prelude. I amassed a whole other building's worth of beautiful sculptures to admire you, too. I was thrilled to but I was thrilled to bursting. This is the one. <laughs> this was the sculpture known as Mitsuku Yamamoto in life, but in death, she was my property. One of my many pieces of found art. Those surprised eyes now dulled and clamming clamming, my bad, calming. Those lips that spoke such harsh words. Now stained with blood, her abdomen strutted her innards exposed. So alluring, so captivating she was now. Sometimes destroying that which is beautiful only serves to make it more beautiful. And truly, this was the proof. Still, it's a shame. It was a shame that I could only gaze upon these gorgeous works of art with, within these school grounds. Before returning home with Mayu, I need to erase every one of these photographs from my phone. It seems like such a waste. The world in which I once dwelled was far too narrow-minded to accept these masterpieces. It was upon a hard place to call home. It was upon? It was often a hard place to call home. But as long as I had Mayu with me, I could endure. And to that end, this folder was an obstacle of detriment. A hurdle to be overcome before I could rejoin the world of the living. I need to delete it. To put it all behind me. Well, I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> If I do it after I get back. So that body wasn't Mayu? That was Mitsuki? See, I thought... Was that like a bait and switch? Did they, they, did they do that on purpose? Because in the second chapter, Mayu dies by getting ripped apart. Okay. Sorrowful testimonies unlocked. Alright. Damn, I didn't think I would finish that chapter tonight. That was a really long one. A lot there. Introduced a slew of characters. Now, did they? Let's look at those CGs real quick. Hold up. Is it Gallery of Spirits? Have I listened to them? I listen to them at the end of every chapter, yes. Um, I have no image for this. Isn't this Mayu? Right? That's Mayu, right? She gets ripped apart. And that's why I would think that, uh... Oh, wow, there's a lot of images I'm missing here for him. Uh... This is just the beginning image, so where's the rest? It is Mayu. So why'd he call her Mitsuki? Where the fuck are the other CGs? I feel like these are extra CGs that I don't remember. I mean, if I have them, then... Yeah, okay, those are CGs. Those are spoilers. I don't know where I got those from, but they're there for some reason. Oh, here's the photo. Huh. Then why'd he call her Mitsuki? Okay. I'm a little confused there. But, as always, I would like to check out the Sorrowful Testimonies. But before I do before I do that, I gotta put their uh their voice lines back on. Let's check that out. How many we unlocked? I think we unlocked four of them. Uh it's a bonus. Excuse me. 
I just burped into the mic. All right, so we have mochitas, right? Did I say mochita, my bad. Uh, more shigis. Play the first party Steam version. You get all the CGs. Okay, all right. So that's all the CGs from the first game. Okay. So here's the dude that gets stabbed up in the first game. This is Mitsuki, right? And this is Fuku, Fuku, Fukuroi. Okay, so they're all CGs from Blood Covered. Okay, so I'll try my best not to look at that because I would definitely like to check that out later if I could. I think I bought that, right? Okay, so we unlocked... One, two, three, four. Was it only four? Hey, Shark. <laughs> Welcome back. We finished the, uh, the chapter, surprisingly. Oh, wow, so we only got a couple of chapters left. Wow. All right, well, let's take a look. I am playing alone in a dark room with headphones on. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. It's also the VA for Pikachu? Really? No, I didn't know that. To be fair, it has been a while since I checked the Pokemon anime out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it will be fully animated. Right. Hey, I did my part of supporting Coach Party. I bought all the games already. <laughs> I already bought all the games after I played the first one. They're all on sale, too. Okay. That was a nice little take on that. I'm surprised that this guy has one, because we only see him for like two seconds. He'll probably be more prevalent in like other chapters. <laughs> I feel threatened. That is not the voice I thought you would have. ねえ、こうやって再度登場させていただけるとは思わなかったので、めっちゃ嬉しいです。何よりも生きてます。生きてる黒崎君は、なんていうんだ、黒崎君はいいですね。やっぱりなんかね、あの、こう明るくなります
They find they find long and intricate words to describe viscera and guts. Yeah, the, the sound design in this game is really good. That 3D sound is really good. They know how to nail that shit directly. And, like, again, earlier today, we, uh, we checked one of the corpses of the teacher, Mr. Uh, Goto, and uh, I said that he said hi to me because it sounded like that because it was like really faint. He's like, hi. But he was, <laughs> he said something, uh, he didn't say that. He said uh, more like, um, itai, like it hurts, right? But he said it so low and so like far away in my headset that it just, that I clicked on the body and it sounded like he went, hi. And he said it again. And I was like, what the fuck? Dead body saying hi to me? クリアおめでとうございます。袋井正人役聞くもとタイラです。え、コープスパーティー。怖いですよね。台本読んだ段階で相当怖かったんですけども。That <笑> え、また怖い思いをしたくなったら、ニロさんとと楽しんでもらえたらなと思ってます。ありがとうございました。That was a nice short one. That was shorter than I thought it would be because he had more of a prevalent role in this. Okay. Yeah, but uh I can definitely understand when they mean like this game is like raw emotion. Also like again with the sound design, like the ambiance is good. The only problem I have with that is just the audio mixing. I wish there was a different like a different scale I can use for ambiance and then music because ambiance and music are used on the same like audio track. So whenever they have ambiance like it's pretty low and quiet. Unless you're playing, um, unless you're playing with headphones and you can, you know, actually hear them. But since it's also tied to music, you have to keep it low and quiet because once the music starts, it like full blast in your ears. <laughs> like I'm lowering, like when I'm streaming this, I'm lowering the music as much as I can without like hopefully making it too low. But even with that, like in my headphones, I can't hear myself think sometimes, right? It's pretty loud. But other than that, like, I really do appreciate the sound design in this. And even uh, the little bit of voice acting that I heard when I first started playing this, I took it off because it was going to, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just watch them speak Japanese and not, and not like commentate, right? That's probably the worst way to do a stream. But, um, so I had to turn the voices off so I can read them, right? Because I can't talk over them. But the, uh, they really did put a lot of work into the voice acting. It's definitely raw emotion going through that. I like it. Alright, was that the last one we unlocked? I think it was only those. All well, the sorrowful testimonies from... I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Ka, uh, God, why can't I say his name right now? Fucking Ka, Kazami. There you go. <laughs> Pretty sure Kazami. Kazami's the one who goes absolutely buck shit crazy in the first game, right? They don't really. Do they even answer what happens to him? Because you don't see him die in the first game. You just see him get attacked. Hmm. Maybe there's like an an extra thing with that or something. But um. Yeah. Overall, I still have to say that. Out of, out of all the chapters we played right now, we got fucking, we got three more chapters left, right? And I have a feeling these are definitely going to be shorter than Shangri-La, because Shangri-La was probably the longest one as of far. And Blood Drive is probably going to be like super long. Uh, which ending in the first game did I get? Uh, original ending was, um, I can talk about it because we're playing Quartz Party and we're not on a different game. Uh, original ending that I got was I fucked up one of the answers uh, when you're talking to the good version of uh, Sachiko and then 
and then uh, everyone else got taken over by the darkening, and only, only um, uh, blood drive is easy three hours. Okay, hopefully I can beat it. <laughs> um, uh, what's we call it? Uh, Shinozaki and and uh, Naomi they got trapped in together, and Shinozaki was already taken over by the darkening. And she killed Naomi, and she's like, fuck, that was the only person I needed to get out of here. God damn it. <laughs> right, so that was the original ending I got. Um, and then, uh, and then, you know, after I did that and redid the questions, because it was only one question that I messed up. Uh, after I redid that, I got the true ending, right? Where they all survived, but the people who weren't, who didn't make it out, got erased from their memory, and that's where this game starts off at. So you got, so I got your perfect ending. <laughs> Which one? The uh, the one where they all survive? Well, not all survive, but the one where they get out, or the one where, where fucking, <laughs> where's, where's uh, Shinozaki goes fucking ballistic. I mean, even in the earlier chapters, we got the other ending where she uh. Where she's holding on to her paper charm and she goes, Ugh, you whore. And then she just she just burns it. She's like, Oh, you want this? This is what you want? Oh, oops, my bad. I burnt it. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh man. I'll never forget that part. I wish I wish I had that as a clip on the on the channel. But she's just like, you whore. Like out of nowhere. Also, Sendazaki's probably my favorite. The one where it all dies is my perfect ending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pretty fucked up. I like the writing in that, though. But yeah. Um, so far, out of all the chapters right now, uh, I still like... Just because it's so interesting, because it takes place before all this shit, I still like Encounter the best, the one that focuses on the teacher. I want to know more about that. Because it's like, she didn't go... She didn't... She had an experience, right? But she didn't get sent into the school, like into Heavenly Host. But she still was marked for the future, right? So that's interesting, and I want to know more about that. That what makes that interesting. There's so much, so much mystery going on. And then I want to know what the fuck is the deal with the uh, Sukasa? I think that's his name, right? Sukasa or Subasa or something like that. Like I feel like he knows way more than he's letting on, or fucking something. There's something with him. It's freaky. <laughs> True ending where they all survive and you get the scene with Naomi showing you the message from Sayaka. Yeah, that one. That's the ending that I got. <laughs> Another ending called the loop ending where you fuck up the charm at the end and the day starts again. You basically relive Book of Shadows first chapter. Oh, really? So is that the canon ending? The loop ending? Wait, that that wouldn't be the canon ending though, because this game starts with like an opening and it's uh it's um Naomi's mom like telling her that there's no one called Seiko. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about, your friend doesn't exist. She's like, she does! <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah, but Encounter is still my favorite with uh Seal being my second favorite. Because it sets the mood for everything. And I want Demise is cool, but there's something about it. There's something about it that, there's something that Shangri-La has more of, I guess because it, I, I don't know. I really don't know how to put those two. Demise and Shangri-La are kind of like the same to me. And Purgatory, it's interesting. It's an interesting premise, right? It shows you like all the before shit. But there's just not enough there. It's so short. You find out playing... Oh. Alright, you find out by playing this uh, through this game. Alright, I hope so. Um, Yeah, but Purgatory is like so short and there's not... Like, you see snippets of like Naho and Sayaka and like uh, Sakasa, And you barely see anything of uh, her mentor. Like, he's there, but you really don't learn much about him. Besides that he's somewhat full of himself, but not in a bad way. Just like in an overconfidence like, kind of way. But, um... But like, there's still, it's so short and there's not enough to work with. 
Alright, when he calls the corpse, you think it's Maya. Wait a second. Alright. I think... Oh, I honestly don't know anymore. Shit. About chapter 2 and chapter 5 gets cleared up. Okay. Alright. Is he, like, being taken over by the Darkening and he thinks it's Mitsuke? That's just a little theory going on in my head right now. But... That's it for Corpse Party Book of Shadows for tonight. We managed to beat yet another chapter. That's nice. Making good timing. So that means, like, we have... If everything goes pl uh, as planned, that means we have three more streams to finish this game. Um... Depending on how long Mare and Tooth are. If they're like one hour long or something, then fucking, hey, maybe we can get them both done in one stream. But, that's gonna be it for tonight with the Corpse Party. Right? Um, and I think, I think after Corpse Party is done, I'm probably gonna start doing, uh, Phoenix Wright. That's gonna take over that slot. Right? So, Corpse Party's done for the night. Next stream will be more Sly Cooper. I plan on finishing both levels of Prague. Um, that, that, uh, you know, deals with, like, the Contessa and all that shit. Because last Sly Cooper stream we got, uh, we did was a lot of goofiness. Right? It was a lot of goofiness and I fucked up so much. <laughs> right? It took us, it took us almost the whole damn stream to finish that one chapter, which it shouldn't have. For sure. But, um... I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably do like a practice run today, <laughs> so I know what I'm doing instead of just running around like an idiot. But, um, other than that, there's nothing really, oh, I just hit my microphone, holy shit. There's nothing really too much new to say. One thing I want to do right now, actually, is I just want to check something. First of all, thank you to everyone who, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, thank you to everyone who came and watched the stream tonight. I didn't get to check it, really. Whenever I click off the game, the music stops. I didn't really get to, uh, see it because I don't have a two-screen setup. But, uh, so, I hope I'm pronouncing the names right. So, Araya, Araya Blark, thank you so much for the raid of 34 people. That was, that was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. What else did I miss? Because I couldn't really see it and the fucking alerts were so quiet. Thanks for the follow, Demonic Queen, God of Knockers, and Elusive Hedge. Bossin? Bossin? Bison? Bosin? How do I pronounce that? And someone hosted me, but for some reason I can't see it. Let me see. Uh, oh. Araya Blar, she hosted me as well as did the raid. So thank you very much for that. I greatly appreciate it, and I... And I hope, <clears throat> I hope that you guys, uh, whenever you feel like it, just drop on by. That's it, really. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, <laughs> so, thanks so much for playing exciting game series. Yeah, I definitely, I, I so want to keep playing Chorus Party, but at some point I'm going to have to take a break, right? <laughs> at some point I'm going to have to take a break. I don't want to over over exhaust myself on it and like just and and uh <laughs> fucking what was it and we've been sitting it's been like what two months since we did anything with phoenix right and just last thing we did was we saw we said our goodbyes to uh to a von karma bless that fucking beautiful woman's heart that sexy fucking woman who looks like she's 24, but she's 18 or something. She's the same age as Maya. What a freak. And I love her and her awesome wit. And that sexy bastard Edgeworth. My God. Can't wait to see everyone again. God, it's, it's just been like in my mind. I'm like, man, I really want to I really want to get to Phoenix right again. I miss them. It's my peoples. But, um... <clears throat> but, yeah. So, once again, next stream's gonna be Sly Cooper. Same time, it's in the schedule. Um... Uh, just finished the game before the 28th of March. Alright. That's when you start Hachiko's Historic Birthday Bunch, which is a spin-off. Shadows. 
Okay. Do I... All right, so I real quick question. I was told that it's better to play Sachiko's Birthday Bash after Book of Shadows because it introduces new characters that show up later. Is it perfectly okay? Like, would I really miss that much if I skipped it and came back to it later? I wasn't expecting to describe Edgeworth that sexy. He's fuck. You can't resist him. Even straight men bow down to him. <laughs> Gotta make sure to make it to the future streams from now on. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sharing. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Alright. Hmm. Because you skipped it too? Alright, so I guess I should be fine. Okay. Let me see. So who's getting for 28th of March? Okay. Oh, also, Tranley, uh, real quick. Today you're doing, uh, well, for East Coast, for me, I think it's around 3 o'clock. But today you're you're going back on Danganronpa, right? Like, that's today's schedule? I don't really remember. I'll... But I will still fully understand Blood Drive. Okay. There's going to be some... It's going to be some surprises if I do not play it. Alright. Hmm. Tomorrow on Wednesday. Oh, today is Tuesday! Shit. Alright, cool. Gotcha. So today's your day off of streaming, right? Okay. Also about Kazami. What about Kazami? He's on some bullshit. That's what he's on. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Find his name tag on the outside of the science lab. Oh, really? Okay. See, I wasn't really looking at too many name tags. And then the science lab is an atomical figure. Oh, automat or whatever. How how the fuck you pronounce that word? <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, enough strength to lift. Okay. Enough strength to lift up cupboards. Okay. Shit. All right. That's interesting. So he does he does kick the bucket. I would assume so. All right. So I don't want to keep anyone. Up longer than they have to be. Alright. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Just saying what you make of it is yours to decide. <laughs> that motherfucker's dead. He got he got kicked. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to keep anyone and don't want to drag the stream on longer than it has to be. Because I'm already past my time for streaming because this goddamn chapter was so damn long. But once again, for the people who came and watch live, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um People who are going to watch this on the VODs, uh, same as YouTube, hopefully you guys can catch this live, because it's, you know, if you have time, catch it live. Especially people on YouTube, because you guys don't get the videos until the whole playthrough is over, so, yikes, am I right? But, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it. Once again, raid? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do that. I'm still learning a lot of things on stream. I still don't, I don't even know what the fuck the health bar option does. And I'm, I'm running this on a uh, old ass OBS. Let me see. How do I raid? Do I just like find a channel and like, do I just find a channel and then fucking send you motherfuckers there? Do I just attack some motherfucker? Someone just get attacked, get hit with critical damage. Every time I click off this game, fucking, uh, <laughs> the music stops. Alright, let me see. How do I do this? Uh, do 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 do. Where is the. Let's see. Head to Twitch. I will look via. Oh, wait, hold up. 
I gotta turn off. I gotta turn off the desktop music because then you're gonna hear everything in the background. All right. Let's see. Uh, who is playing? I'll see who's playing Zelda. Majora's Mask. Mm. Let's see. You type in your chat slash and then read the name of the channel you want to read. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Let's see. Who is this? Someone with one view. New rider who dis Majora's Mask. Let's go. Um, let me see. You know, they're just chilling, having a good time. Right? Make their, make their night. You know, it's not much, but... It's not much, but, you know. Make their night, make their day. Show them some support, show them some love for the small streamers. Where the fuck is my keyboard? There we go. So what is it? It's slash raid. Uh, and then channel name. Cause no one, no one I really watch right now is live, sadly. <laughs> so, their their name of their channel is of Hyrule. So let's try doing that, right? So guys. Go over there, send them some love. Let them know that you love Zelda if you like Majora's Mask. Make their day. Right? They're trying their best. That's all I can ask for. Now go, my people! Go, my friends, my people. Be with them as I end my stream because I suck. <laughs> Good night, guys. I'll see you for the next stream where we do Sly Cooper. I'm a chef, chef too.